Previously. Previously. Previously on the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Always, no, I've known Jay almost as long as I've known you, and he's always been kind of, this, kind head. of, kind of maybe just the th- like the five to seven pound thinner version of you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Damn and like, See, no, and, and listen, that comes from an un, that comes from an unbiased unbiased opinion. Some would say mm-hmm. an unroided. Jay, they, un- um, un- whatever. Un- <laughs> you are listening, you're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. <laughs> Broadcast rights for the Bubba the Love Sponge Show have been granted to this station by the Bubba Radio Network and is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this production without the express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. Soldier down. We are a soldier down. <clears throat> uh, Tuesday, February twenty seventh. Is Rhett also having a hard time getting us up on YouTube? Are you no, we're we're up. Are you sure? Yeah. I keep uh, refreshing. Yeah, I'm I'm on it right now. We got uh, see hundred people on. Unmasking deep fakes is the last one. I keep you know last. I can I got us everywhere else. I got us on Rumble. I got us on Twitch. I got us on Facebook. I got us on X. And I keep going to YouTube uh, under the live section, <clears throat> keep refreshing, and it keeps getting us here. Get, unmasking deep fakes, the dark side. Hmm. Hmm. Rhett, what say you, my pumpkin? Perfect. Uh, just keep refreshing, I guess. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Like I said, uh, that now we're at 150. You can count it. Yep, keep going up. Dan just texted me, flip vehicle, what? Right in, flipped vehicle oh. right in front of me. Had to stop and help. I'm going to be 10 minutes late. Take your time. I mean, if you're saving a life, right? Yeah, no kidding. You yeah, that's great content. Footage. And it, and it, and it, and you can. Yeah, I got a picture. I sent you a link. What sent me a link to what? The picture? No, to the show. Oh. For our YouTube. Oh well, let me see. I keep I keep refreshing. Here, let me show you, Lummy. We don't have to necessarily broadcast, but this is our YouTube channel, right? It's not going to be there. That's okay. in the back end. The live stream's not going to show up on that page until it's over. Oh, it always it always does. It always does. Every other day. Okay, in the top right where it says click uh, create, do you see that? Yeah. Click that and then click go live. No, but but I mean, that means I'm going live, doesn't it? No. Oh, well, this is the first time that... Go uh, go that? over to the top left where it says stream. Oh, no, I'm well. just not going to worry about it, okay? You seem like okay. you're in a pretty pissy mood today, so I don't understand like what I'm I did I'm trying wrong. to help. No, you seem like... like you know, By I don't answering... Know. It's like no, I'm just saying, like that short assignment that I gave you, it sounded like you weren't into it at all. And I'm just, can we not, can we not be honest with each other? I mean, you know, I'm not mad at you. I'm not going to fire you. I love you to death more than anything in the world. But it <clears throat> seemed like you got a little pissy. I got that. a little pissy because I had to get outside because Scout was running in the street and I almost ran her over. It's not Anna's fault. It's my fault. But I knew I had to go. But it ain't my I knew fault she either. Wasn't in the back where I placed her, so I'm sorry. But it ain't my fault either. It's not. No, you're right. It's not. Don't get pissy on us, P. I mean, if Anna would have ran over, it's not her fault. And uh, don't be mad at me. <clears throat> that would have been a sad day. Would have been a sad. Oh, he wouldn't be here right I now. I love that little dog. And, and the thing about it is, we love that little dog. She's just a little pisser. <laughs> Hers likes to piss. Literally. That's her welcoming. Uh, that's that's her welcoming deal. I, I see. Here's what uh, I'm confused with, Seth. Is that every day? I mean, since since we've been, lo- uh, Brett. Every day, every day since we have been doing this, I have a little ritual. I go to Rump Rumble. I get, I go live. I go to the Twitch. I go to the Facebook. I go to the X, and I go to the YouTube. And I hear, and I you know I know what I hit. Been doing it for a long time. So now, all of a sudden, it seems like my regiment on how I get and monitor us on on YouTube has has it changed? No, <laughs> the heroes here. Oh, the, oh, the heroes here. <laughs> yes. All right. So, uh, let me. You're gonna have to send me. I guess you're gonna have to send me a uh, a link. You you already did. Yes, I did. All right. So I. I I, I never I never have had to do this before, Lummy. It's ever. Weird. So from now on, I guess you're just going to have to sit. There we are on YouTube. So, um, Dan, how are you, my friend? 
Are you are you okay? What what, ha- okay. what, ha- what happened? Well, I was just minding my own business and <laughs> behind this other car and she hit Okay, so you know if you're leaving my house, Bubba, how Bayshore kind of curves around right before you get to Gandhi? Yeah. that big left turn? Yeah. So she makes that left turn. Lummy, do you have a picture of the flip? Did you send one? I sent it to Lummy. I sent it to Bubba. You want to send it to you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, always, always send it to Lummy if you want oh. it, to, it, it to be broadcast, just because, you know. It's just easier for me to it's get It's just easier for me. If not, I have to send it. Uh, so it can, okay, get, so that, get that information, Lummy. He'll have it. I'll be able to post it, but continue your story. Okay, so I'm behind this vehicle. I'm, I'm doing 35 and a 35. So anyone that was... I feel like know, I'm talking to, to Jay-Z. Jay-Z. <laughs> I'm doing 35 <laughs> and a 34. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't speeding. I was, no, 35 was like? and a 34. He said, you know why I pulled you over? He said, because I'm Dr. Dan and I'm rich as hell, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to get mine. So I was being very cognizant of my speed. Um, and I'm flying this lady in a in like a like a greenish old Altima or something like that. And she takes the left, but she goes a little wide and she jumps the curb on the right hand side, and then she loses control, hits the pole, and flips on her side. Yeah, right, right in front, in front, of, front of, of you. Right by the dash cam with an awesome video. I just got it. So I'm, it's, I'm doing my other thing. All right, so she oh she she, over, she she widens out yeah, the she, curb. She understeers. So that the, her her right side, her right front tire hits, hits the curb. The curb. And there's kind and of like a like a driveway, so she jumps it. There's like a ramp because you know, like the edge of the driveway curves up a little bit. Right. So she hits that, and she catches air with her right front and then when it comes down she loses control unless she got a flat or she bent the suspension or she just was shocked and then Lummy. she just went Hello. another 100 feet it, it, Bubba, i just got it i have to upload it to the computer and then upload it to your system oh it, ta- it takes a minute i'm sorry i'm over here just treading water kid it did what it sent it the yeah, yeah dan t- from now on send it to lummy you dumbass not okay. me okay well i don't have the controls to throw things okay. up okay. idiot okay. Okay. all right so anyway she uh she takes the turn wide mm-hmm. she uh her front and right hits whatever ab- abrupt abankment curb right. driveway jumps up Comes back right. down. How fast is she going? Now? Thirty-five, right? Forty. You know, she's not going like sixty. But you're, I mean, but you're hitting a corner at thirty-five. Yeah, you can hit that corner at thirty-five. Okay. You can hit it at thirty all day long. I mean, thirty-five is a little fast, but it's you know she, it, but it's a really wide entrance into the turn and a very narrow exit. If that makes sense. All right. So here she doesn't we, have a lot of room to play. So there's only one picture. Let oh me, no, there's, there's two. two. There's one coming in. Oh, there's another, there's another yep. one coming. Yep. All right. Here we go. So see that little curb right there? That's where she jumped. Right here? Yeah, that's that's the little area she jumped, and then she went right into that pole and flipped. All right, so. <laughs> Old lady stuck in the car. Oh, wow. No. So were you first, I mean. I oh, was by there, the way, no, no, I was only, first and only. Hold on now. She's got a handicap. She, she, she already has a handicap. Uh, yeah. License plate. Mm-hmm. So you're directly behind her. Well, I watched the whole thing. You watched thing. the whole thing almost like it was in slow motion. It probably. was in slow motion. It looked like it was in slow Also, Just at like 530. Her. Everything's in slow motion, right? You know. Now, now, <laughs> kind of... and here's the thing: it it didn't flip multiple times. It just flipped over one, like right there, right? Correct. Yeah, it just kind of like my water side. truck. Yes, exactly. It was oh. a water truck deal. But my water truck was on the other side. Yeah. So is that you on the ground? No, I'm taking the picture. Oh, okay. oh that look! I thought that was you on the ground now too. Now, no. who who are the other two bystanders? Now, um, I stopped first, and then after about 45 seconds to a minute. Suddenly, you know, there was the light changed or whatever, and there was maybe five cars, and they all right. stopped. Most of them were soldiers. Soldiers are great. The military guys, they stop they're every all going, time. They're all going to work at McDill. But, yeah, go to work at McDill. But, you know, they get out of their cars. They're heroes. They, they run to the fire. They don't right. just ignore that crap, you know? Right. And so there was maybe five or six soldiers before there was a single policeman. All right, but you're there first. Yes. You go down there and say, are you okay? Are you okay? And she's moving, and she's like, she's moving. And she's not bleeding a lot, but she's trapped in her seatbelt, and she's at the bottom of the pit. You right, know? and so that, so how does she? Do, in order for her to get out, she's going to have to stand up and then exit. You know, op- somehow open the passenger door. Right. Kind of like what they did me, and then they're going to have to, you know, get a ladder or just yoke her out. Well, there's some now, like how, six, now, foot, this, six guys is there. This, so is this glass just, broken here? No, nothing's broken. Really? Which gives me an idea too, by the way, because I, I was looking for something I didn't have handy. What? Like one of those escape tools. You should have a Bubba Army escape tool. You know, that's got the seatbelt cutter. Yeah. It's got the window breaker. Oh, you yeah. keep it in your car. There's Listen, normally I'd say I jump all over it, but we are in... Um, Merchandise it, hell? No, it's... it's. I got... I got... 
and, and in the today's show is going to be a largely about this, but I have my Bubba shoes, Woo. and I'm talking to this shoe broker, and I'm just going to be full transparent with everybody. I'm talking to this shoe broker, and the Trump, the Trump-inspired Trump knockoff concept. A lot of people are trying to. A lot of celebrities, a lot of different people are trying to knock that off. And, you know, make it their own, kind of like I'm trying to. Right. And so I'm dealing with the shoe broker, and he's like, listen, you are the first. You're my number one guy, but I got five or six other very influential, you know, I'm not going to tell you who they are, from, you know, athletes to con. There's people in con. There's just some people. This is this Trump shoe idea was such a great idea and such an unbelievable design that there are people like like me that are going to try to knock it off and make it theirs. And so my shoe broker that I'm talking to is like, listen, um, you have to have your order in. I think he's given me a week. So he the shoe is designed. We're going to start production. Awesome. But I'm only going to be able to sell them for a week because then I got I can only put he, he here's what he told me. I can only run your shoes one time. So order what you need because you cannot order again. Because after I run your shoe, I got five or six other people that I got to do shoe runs on. So and your, your, your shoe will be a complete day's work for me. We'll run however many you make. So Is I, it a pre-order deal? It's a pre-order deal. Wait. So, Dan, thank you for being the hero. Grandma's okay. Uh, you know, I'm, right? She's okay. Yes, you're she, first. She's you're first on the scene, and you are a quite quite the hero. Now, so I'm, when I show it, when I show it to you, Dan, you're gonna pop. You're good. I worked. I didn't really. Eric and I, uh, Merch Crick and I, didn't really get a lot of sleep last night because we were on the phone, exchanging pictures, tweaking this thing. Until about eight thirty, nine o'clock last oh, night. Wow. So you talk about tweaking design? Yes. Oh, you're making design changes. My still. shoe okay. is done. Oh wow. My Bubba Army Trump knockoff Willies are done, Woo. and they're available for you to pre-order right now. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Yes. <clears throat> so here you go. Here is. Oh, I love it. Here and so here's some things I made different with the Trump. The Trump has red, and then he has white yeah. down there. Well, white gets real. So I made mine all red, which I, like I think that. even looks cooler. I do like that. I took the Bubba Fat Guy Dunkin' a Donut and made that a logo. All of this, and then the Bubba Army. There's a, there's a Bubba Army tag up Chevron there on the tongue. Uh, let me see. There's there's another look at it. Um, let me see. Here's uh here is here's a look at it. Uh, you know, if you're looking straight on, I think the red soles. Really pop. I like it. Make them more obnoxious. Mm -hmm. The, uh, you know, Bubba Army dunking a logo with my flip flops on the side. And uh, so, listen, here's the deal. And it's, but I got, you know, it, you can order them right now. They're $149.99. Nice. And I think Trump's for what? 400, 300 or 400? 399. Yeah, 399. Yeah. Well, mine are $149. Wow. I'm not making a lot of money. You know, I, I hope to sell a bunch, but I'm on, I'm only literally gonna have it open for a week. That's it. And the and, and he wanted me to be done. Like I had to have my order in by Friday, but I'm like, listen, I start Orlando on Tuesday, and there might be some Orlando people, you know, that want them. And so he he gave he gave me till Tuesday uh, at 5 p.m. Eat, close of business on Tuesday. Now, people are asking if they order, what's the opportunity for an autograph yeah. on it? You know what? We need to probably have Merch Crick put on there, um, like, do you, maybe a little check, a little box, mm -hmm. autographed or not autographed. Yeah. For an extra fee? No, no. It's, oh, free autographs? Yeah. yeah I mean, on these shoes? Thanks. I mean, because it's a limited run on the shoe. Right. Uh -huh. You know, so, uh, you know, Merch Crick, I know she's listening to the show right now. Um, you're going to somehow have to put in there, you know, autographed or not autographed or in the notes section, you say autographed or not, not autographed. If you don't say, I'm not going to autograph them, but you got everything from a, we go down to a men's eight all the way, uh, to a men's 14.
Nice. From 8 to 14. Then we threw some women's sizes in there because like the Tees and the Susan Poitras and the Wizzies and the Nada fans. I mean, we got and, – and, uh, and the Maria Guatemala's. You know, and the uh, you know uh, Nikki Peel's wife, probably even Melissa Carpenter. Mel- you know, Mel- Amy White. You know, just there's some a lot. We got a lot of great rainy. There's probably some female Scout and Big Gulp. These will look good on them. These are exactly what a lesbian needs in their life. Oh, of course they do. <laughs> so Dan, just on the surface, what do you, uh, be honest? I love it. I absolutely love it, dude. First of all, I love gold. I love the flag. I love you. And <laughs> uh, I like the red soles. I like it. I like the design change. I got no criticism, but love. I got love on this one. I'm getting a pair. I like how they made the donut a different color, too. Yeah. yeah there's, and the flip-flops. Anna, you are the most cynical and usually, you know, like, you know, you're not drinking the Kool-Aid. What do, now, you, you, you have to kind of put your, your mindset into Bubba Army fan mode. You know, a, a person that really likes the show. Not that, you know, what do you think about it? I told you yesterday. I thought this was a great idea. It was time sensitive. You're getting it out. Right. People can pre-order it immediately, and uh, He's, uh, I think it'd be great. My shoe broker told me that I'm I might have mine before Trump has his out. It seems like it. I mean, because he's making what do you make? Ten thousand pairs. Oh, and one thousand. I thought. Oh, was well, it 1, yeah. On this one, he has other shoes, different colors. But yeah, yeah. I don't know how many pairs I'm going to end up. I'm only going to. Yeah, I'm only going to make what I what I sell. I, so I don't have. You I don't get left hanging with a bunch of nope. shoe boxes. So when I when I put my He's or, hit when I put my when shoes. I put my order in Tuesday at five p.m., you know I may you know pad it up maybe twenty thirty shoes something like that, but nothing of any significance. Please tell me you're going to order one for Dion. Oh yeah, that would be the best. And I know what shoes you—I know what size shoes you wear because you have a shoe. Because I have one of his shoes. That would be the best if he gets them and in oh, if he, if he would get if he would get them and put them on. Uh huh. Oh, and put them over. But, but hold on, Lummy. Maybe that, like, you know, maybe we. I mean, what? Like, I'm just saying. Yeah, I understand. Like, why? Maybe I need to order. Maybe there's a version. I'm just saying, like. If he if he would do that, Lummy, and all of a sudden people would want to buy him, and they can't because I've already closed him out. And Dion's and can, you know, you got I don't know um five hundred thousand people that want to buy these things. But then that would also make the ones that people That's true. pre-order too that much more. You know what? I I, I like it. I like. I don't want to get greedy. I want to be exclusive. So here's the deal: if 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 I send a pair to Dion. And, and and it's already sold out. It just makes it that more exclusive. Oh, Deion yeah. Sanders even has a pair. Yep. Right? Yeah. I wonder if Tucker would have it, you know. Oh, yeah. Put, have him put that over. Yeah. How about Trump? <laughs> how, about, oh, how about Roger Stone? Oh, yeah. There you go. I, I mean, I know Roger quite well. So, uh, anyway, there you, you can order them right now. Like, they're available to order. And as of now, my cutoff is 5 o'clock on Tuesday. And that's just, Lummy, so that on Monday and Tuesday when we're on Orlando 103.1, we start Orlando 103.1, that they, the Orlando, our potential new audience will, and, and, and here's the thing, our potential, our audience day one and two is going to be, you know, very small compared to what our audience is six, seven months into our Orlando run. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're going to be, listen, we're, I'm going to be honest with you. We're gonna. We're really gonna do well in Orlando. I've been in Orlando. I've been syndicated in Orlando. I think I've been on six or seven different different radio stations in Orlando. My brand is as big. Let me. If you look at all of our reports and Facebook reports and YouTube reports and podcasting reports, Orlando is one. It's like either our second or third city on all platforms. That's awesome. Like Orlando, we are going to kill it in Orlando. And it's I mean, 103.1, me, th- till 6 o'clock, and then Don Miller, this great African-American talk show host who likes to use the N-word. Mm-hmm. He does. He In, in his monologue, I, I can't wait for you people of Orlando can, that can really, really hear Don Miller. Right now, you know, you have to listen to the app through the app or... Just we have a horrible signal in Orlando, but that all stops on Monday. And Don Miller, listen, the two twin towers of of, of the franchise are me and Shannon, but Don Miller is going to be a superstar in Orlando because you know everybody knows about me and Shannon. 
Nobody really knows about this Don Miller character, and he is a stud. I love the guy. Then Shannon Perk in the afternoon, and then I don't know what we're doing tonight. But, uh, I mean, let me. we have a chance to go in and compete against a legendary talk show. I mean, this franchise, 1041 WTKS, I'm not afraid to talk about my competition on the air. And plus, the guy that does mornings, I used to, you know, be in a standard Bubba Army, you know, Bubba radio war with, with Russ, Russ Rollins on the Monsters. Mm-hmm. I used to talk all kinds of smack about Russ. But deep down, we were always kind of friendly. Well, we've become more friendly over the past four or five years, like where we text each other and where each other's friends and stuff. So it's not going to be the standard Bubba Army radio war deal. Uh-uh. But... What we what Florida Man Radio has, the opportunity we have to roll in like some wolves that we are in sheep's clothing and give the fine, I don't know, men 25, 54, that demographic that we that we target, give them an alternative to a, a, di- a, a different talk show. FM talk, men skewing FM talk is rare. Most markets don't have just an FM talk targeted to men most of that stuff's on am well so throughout the country there are some huge fm talk franchises one of which is in orlando at 1041 wtks they've never had any real competition they're fixing to get some real competition their morning guy's got his own shoe bitches so i mean i think uh i i think we're gonna do well in orlando and just think, let me just think for some, you know, ungodly reason, just like we went to number one in Fort Walton Beach. That's right. Now, we didn't have any competition in Fort Walton Beach, and people gravitated to it because it's, you know, Fort Walton Beach. You got, it's that's just some really good radio. Well, Orlando, where it's, it's equally as good because you're hearing the same show, and maybe you're, ti- you're tired of that 31-year-old year, year old franchise that has not really made any improvements and somewhat kind of stale. New guys in town, buddy. Whole different. And 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 ro- new guys in town and rolling with a couple of legends. We're rolling up in here like Gronk and Brady, right? right? Yeah. We're rolling up in we're we're not rolling up in Orlando to start a uh, an FM talk show against a very legendary WTKS with some jobbers. We're rolling up with Tom Brady and and and, and Gronk. I liked your billboard and we're idea. Win. What's that? I liked your billboard idea. You yeah. and Shannon. Yeah, they have our they have our booking photos and the and, and they say the bad boys are back. Oh, and, I like that. Because we've both been in, we've both been you know arrested. Right. And and so I have a booking photo. He's got a booking photo. They put him on one. They put a, you know, me on one side mornings. Him on the other side afternoons. And you put the bad boys are back. One zero three one. Florida Man Radio. Sorry, Don. I mean, there's, there's listen, Don, you'll get your own billboard eventually, but me and Shannon have put our dues in, my friend. Yeah, there's only so much real estate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The bad boys are back. Finally, non-pussified, say it like it is, opinionated, piss you off, uh, shove it right up your is, FM talk for a real man, for real men, not a bunch of pusses. Yeah. Yeah, for real men, not that's what it should say for real men, not, not standard not, corporate not, radio. No, not pussies. She probably couldn't put that on a billboard. Yeah, on a billboard probably not. For real men, not sniz flizzes. Because everyone knows what that is. <laughs> right. I'll tell you everybody's gonna know about these shoes. They're I, awesome. I, I have not been this excited about uh, you know, I well pro- let me probably well, since Alpha. Well, I mean Alpha's got me excited, but uh, Alpha's on hold right now. What? I mean, it's still it's being manufactured. Oh, but it's I'm, I'm I got to get my hands on these things. Mm. The I mean, you mean your attention? It's on hold for your attention. Yeah, like your I attention's mean, focused on Alpha. This. May come in and I may store it mm. and make it the fall promotion or you know, or the summer promotion. I mean, this probably only has about. Well, I think this only has a week worth of legs, mm. right? I mean, after after my cutoff time. You know, which is Tuesday at 5 p.m., I can't order anymore. Like, you know, the number is the number. I'm not going to order 100 more than what people have placed. I don't want to be, you know, sitting here holding 100 shoes. Bubba, what if you sold, like, you know, like almost 1,000 shoes? So be it. 
So maybe be I, it. So, make some money, bitches. <laughs> if I must, I must. Yeah, so be it. If I send a G-ball. And so, again, Merch Crick's going to put in there. I don't know if she has yet or yet or not. Uh, do you want them signed or unsigned? And I can sign them. Uh, on the, uh, let me, I've had a pair of shoes, you know, like I got a Steph Curry pair of a commemorative Under Armors and they, and they, they usually, so they usually sign just one of the toes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now don't, please not to, not to be mean to my other hosts here, but I just don't think it, it, this is a everybody signs, you know, thing. This is just a, it's my shoe. No, it's, it's just, just you. My, yeah. it's you. It's I know you. you I know you want shoe. Honest Signature. I know you want Seth's. No, buy a top <laughs> pack. You know, I know you want Lummies. <laughs> buy, buy a buy something else. Yeah, buy a Honest uh, Cube shirt. It's like when you yeah. bought your, your, your Shaq shoe. You know, you didn't see uh, you know Nick Anderson on there. Penny Hardaway didn't he, sign it. Exactly. All right, so this shoe is available. Till next two one week, and I don't know, twelve hours or so from now, Tuesday at five p.m. And I'll be reminding you every day about that. And once, let me, they're actually making them right now. Sweet. I don't know, Dan. I have no idea of the volume, but I do think they're half as what Donald. They're, they're half as much as Donald Trump charging because I'm half the star that he is. <laughs> And uh, and uh, they, we, you could very well have them before the people that order the Trumps. I think my design's cooler. His has got just kind of just a hunked out T. Yeah. I got, you know, the infamous Bubba Dunkin' a Donut Air Bubba uh, uh, logo on mine. And I like the, right, the, the solid red sole instead of the white one. I did, I, I did. That was, by the way, that was a Macho Man. I saw that. The, I saw those. That, that was. A, that was a. That was a Macho Man. Macho Man, aren't you excited that I used your suggestion? I listened to what you said. Looks great. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, they, they, they those things look dope. Now, they do cost me a lot, but I think we'll make some good money on these, and I think I could give a pair to each co-host that would want one. But here's the deal. I'll pay if I, you need. <clears throat> no, I know you. I know you'd pay. If you want to buy some for Danny or anybody else, I don't know. But what I'm saying is, every me, Lummy, Dan, Anna, Rat, Macho. I don't know about Jay. <clears throat> Jay, does Jay, is Jay a sneaker guy? I mean, I don't, I, I don't think. See, I see. I got a high top guy. I've he, never seen him in a pair of like. Air yeah, Jordans. I don't think he'd ever wear these. I think he'd scoff. I think he'd make fun of them. He'll make fun of me. Yeah. So, <laughs> um. And, uh, you know, Babyface wouldn't want these. You know, let's be honest. Yeah. Babyface wouldn't want these. So how many, let me. That'd be like me wearing a Biden sneaker. Where I guess it would be a Biden slipper. Right. So um, I need to know, let me, who, do you want a pair? If uh, if, if I can't there, have one, yes. There's no ifs. Okay. It's just yes, yes or no. Yes. And what size? Uh, 13. So you write this down for okay. me, okay? You yep. write, you do everybody's list. All right. Lummy, 13. Dan? Hell yeah! 11. 11. Anna? Absolutely! Woman's? Um, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Rhett? Uh, no, thank you. Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. What's up? Wow. Cool. <laughs> Macho? 11. 11. Really? Yeah, he wants an 11, yeah. Rhett's? Wow. Is that hurt your feelings? I, kind of, it's, it's on par with today. I mean, I, yeah, I guess it's on par for what what's bugging him potentially. I think he's just maybe trying to keep it into. Is it just maybe I because I almost killed his dog? I don't know. I, I mean, I didn't I'm almost little... kill his dog. I just I, I opened the gate and the dog ran out. I mean, Red, Red said he liked think... him. You know when he saw him. Yeah, well, I think you didn't want any. I, I guess not everybody wants these things. Hmm. I thought everybody would just be. I I, I just I'm, I'm a, beside myself. I'm I love them. Yeah, I'm I'm beside myself. But uh, Ty J, say a size fourteen for him, please. Jesus. <laughs> Ty J, I mean, I may have to make you go to the website and buy him, buddy. Oh, I mean, oh damn. I'll get him a fourteen. I'll get beat up. Yo, that's true. Uh, you know what? I was gonna. I I had a pair earmarked for Rat, so I'll just use what I was gonna use for Rat. 
No, I'm sorry. For so no, that's no. It's, it's, I, can, I can't make you, you know, like me more than you already. Can't you make know. you love me if you don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> can't make your heart feel can't something you, like you want. Can't make you like broccoli, man. Can't make you like Dan, the broccoli. Dan, did it kind of take you back a little bit? I was, I was surprised. Yeah, I was so, too. I, mean, I, was I like, don't like Rhett. Yeah. I just, I, not, I like, I love, no I love on him. Rhett. I just, I just was absolutely surprised. Take it back, if you may. No, he, no, there's no taking it back. No, no, taken back by the by him saying no. Yeah, I'm taking back because it seems like it's kind of true. Yeah, you know high tops. I, I think it's. I think it's. About, I think he's mad at me. I think it's. I'm it's, not mad. I think it's, <laughs> I'm not let me, mad. That's, let me, that's like a girl's like. Gave, it's not you. Well, let me. When I gave him that little short, that short assignment <laughs> that I, you. you know, that I <laughs> that I want done. Yeah. That he probably here's the deal. Let me. I gave I gave him an assignment that I need to be done. It's very timely, and I don't think that he necessarily wants to do it or agrees with it. I think he thinks it's stupid. I don't. <clears throat> and, um, you know, well, I mean, you know. You've been, you've been you've been different all day today, bud. I don't understand how. Okay, is it me, Lummy, or has Rhett been just a little bit different today? Yeah, Lummy. I think with the the dog situation, that turned him into kind of. Uh, yeah, but he I think, under- think he's mad about the dog. Yeah, but here's, here's, here's what he you. needs to understand: is he's working at a place that's cool enough to let him bring said. No, and I pee, and I understand. Pee, like, like, urinating I'm, everywhere. I mean, the dog has made every corner his. <laughs> I, I'm prepared Hers. to take accountability. Like it wasn't on his fault. It was my fault. I thought I had covered up the little hole where she could run out into the parking lot, but I guess I didn't do it well enough. So she got out. Like it's on it's on me. I was just stressed. I, yeah. I didn't mean to make it seem like I was mad at you or upset. And you not liking my shoe is got... on me. It's okay. Yeah, what's your reasoning uh, there? Well, there's also uh, so I'm, I found out. I forgot to mention. I think Rhett's a little tense too. There's a little tense situation back there between him and Macho because Macho Uh-oh. was demanding that he uh, switch out uh, his duck video because Macho redid it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Macho's being a real prima donna back he here. He wanted his sunglasses on when he did it. Macho, what's your problem? Why are you being so difficult? It's Just, an easy edit. I'll do it. Well, then Whoa. you you do it and give it. Okay, there you go. There wow, you go. wow. Well, then that kind man, of messes all, up the numbers man, when we, you got to die. We, we, we really are. Hell, we really, Macho? we really need a commercial break. We, we got a bicep <laughs> flex in there. Everything on the duck. I mean, we got those two fighting. We got me and Rhett fighting. We got the dog We're pissing. We got, we got the dog escaping. We got Rhett saying your shoe sucks. I didn't so you guys, I think it'd be Lord. great, man. You guys should uh, uh, sign up for that Mars thing. You guys it, spend a year together in a small, oh, hell small, no. a small area. You, Rhett, and Macho. Your own food. Absolutely not. Oh. Morning Zoo on Z100. That going, was, yeah, going to Mars. Well, I mean, and living together. Gym, no, they're, they're shakes, recruiting. And, yeah, they're recruiting yeah, to stay whatever. in a thing for a year. Yeah. Yeah. For volunteers. You have to grow your own food. It's time sensitive. I'm just more worried about the fact that bars. I, I've for never been so excited. I've never been so excited about any piece of product. Pro, uh, about any, probably maybe back to the Bubba Wonka days, Lummy. Like you know when oh, you put really? the golden yeah. ticket and oh, stuff yeah. like that. This is probably my cool, pro, uh, by far one of my coolest pieces of merchandise I've ever. Ever produced. Oh yeah, it's iconic. And one of my number one guys around here that I love so very much, who oh at one time f- left, you know, quit and came back. But I mean, again, we've we've really, really, really made some progress on our love for each other. And and then I asked, I was like, for sure, he's gonna be like, absolutely. And then he's like, no. Well, my thought saying. process is I'm gonna feel bad if I take it and I don't wear them and I don't use them. That's not what I want to do. I definitely want to make sure someone who wants them can get them. I mean, would it make you feel better if I took them and then listed them on eBay? Are you turning to Seth now? <laughs> no. I appreciate your honesty and your candor. No, Thanks. I'm sorry, Bubba. I, Bubba. It's okay. No problem. Uh, go to Bubba Army merch or Bubba Army store and and get and get get yours now. I don't know if the merch crick has put in a autographed thing or not. Let me see here. This is, th- this is pre-sale ordering of the up-and-coming Bubba Army Air Bubba Trump-inspired gold patriotic shoe uh, shoes. These very limited edition shoes feature the OG Air Bubba dunking a donut logo and our Bubba Army logo on the tongue. They are gold with patriotic accents, including stars and stripes. These are identical to the Trump shoes, aside from the Bubba logos. It's in there. You gotta hit uh, view more. Okay, view more. 
boom. These will sell out quickly. Don't be left out. I will not be allowed to reorder after the uh, due to the high demand of this type of shoe. I need to put my or my one time order in soon. Men's and women's sizes available. Please email or note if you would like an autograph. There you go. Um, you're gonna be mad when I ask this. Do you want an Is there any chance to add like a woman's size eight and a half or nine? It seems like the chat's asking for it. You know, if you take a guy's shoe, a woman's and subtract, a, there is a woman's. Hold on, there's a women's six, a women's seven, a women's eight, a seven, a women's seven and a half, and a women's eight. Right. What you do should, you want to add? A women's. You should go up to. You should go up to like eight and a half and nine, because I mean, a, a women's, a men's ten. I'm sorry, a men's 8 is like a woman's 10. All right, Merch Creek, add women's 8.5 and women's 9. Yeah, I would do that. I think and, you'll include and, more people. So, you know. Yeah, let's be inclusive. Let's be inclusive. So, uh, there you go. Bubba Army Merch, Bubba Army Store, BubbaArmyShop.com. You have one week to order these. I'm going to have her add the additional women's sizes on there. Uh, and when they're done, they're done. I ha- don't have the ability to do two runs. I only can do one run due to the fact that the shoe broker who's doing this for me, Lummy, works with the manufacturer. Uh, and he's like, uh, you know, after your run, you know, I'm like the fifth run. There's four other people that have done this before me. I'm like the fifth guy in the entire. But hold on. In the entire world, though, like wow. I'm the fifth guy in the entire wow. world. At least for this guy, this manufacturer, this broker, and he works with several different manufacturers. And so he's like, but you can only do one run because there's going to be a guy. There's a guy right behind you. There's a guy behind him and there's 50 guys behind them. And so, you know, you'd have to get in line. By the time it came my turn again, Lummy, it'd be like, you know, Christmas. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we will will we make them for Christmas. I don't know. Speaking of which, do you have an estimate on turnaround? Four to six weeks. Wow, that's fast. Yep. That's really fast. This is going to be way before the uh, Trump shoe gets available. Yeah. I think those are like two or three months, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Four to, four, all, like, summer. Four yeah. to six weeks. Ty J, you don't have to buy one. I'll get yours. Uh, four to six weeks. So, uh, again, this is one of my coolest things I've ever done. Yes, it's a direct rip off of. I mean, I'm not trying to think that I'm not trying to pull this off like I did. I ripped it off from Trump. Yeah, you can put Trump inspired. Right. It's Trump inspired. And I've never, and I, and quite frankly, I've never had my own shoe. It's one thing. I, mean, I have my own condoms. I've had my own, you know, all kinds of different things. I've always wanted my own shoe, Lummy, and I finally found a place that can do it. Would you ever come back with the condoms? No, nobody wears condoms. I don't know. So people always in chat always want to. Uh, condoms are for sailors. It's like a belt case. Yeah. Who, I mean, your, uh, is there any, is, uh, there, is, is there any, uh, yeah, listen, <laughs> Lummy, I, I, I attribute the, the manufacturing of merchandise like this. Everybody but one here at the show wants this, right? Yes. How many of us, well, I don't want a Bubba condom. Dan, do you want a Bubba condom? Not particularly. Do you, Lummy, do you want a Bubba condom? No. Anna, do you want a Bubba condom? Uh, hard pass. Rhett might be the only one that wants a Bubba Harvey <laughs> <Yeah. Harvey> condom. <laughs> Deliciously disgusting. You're absolutely right. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Oh yeah, he definitely would go with his gold chain. That would be perfect. Yeah. You can give her a J-shift. Here you go. So he's loyal, just piss on him. Careful, Dad. Shine. Right, Ripley. Ripley. Text me. Text me numbers. Where's the cow? No. (laughs) No one's worse than cow. I had a dog, Duke, before a dog. Also a Visha. Visha. Yeah. And if you came home and you said hi too high in an octave, he'd piss it's, himself. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom would be like, hi, Duke. My mom would you come in with a real low voice. Hi, Duke. Tell him a couple times. Like Elizabeth Holmes, great elbow. Is that the uh, CEO? Elizabeth that Holmes? That was Sharon Ellis, chick. The one that had the... the Sharon Ellis. Like she talked like this because she thought all... She had all that technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the fake technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, um, because I like to be fair, I saw the Gillis 
Gills? Josh Gills? Shane Gills. Shane Gills. The Shane Gills comedy special. Yeah. And I think he described it pretty well. The first 15 minutes were slow. Exactly. He does this shit with the mic the whole time. Yeah. But the, the second half was pretty funny. He's very likable. Even if he's you don't like, love yeah, his comedy, he's, not, he's a but, very but, likable guy. But I go back to the Saturday Night Live thing. The Saturday Night Live I'm scary. on, um... What, Baba? I'm on YouTube. I'm just looking at my YouTube homies. Oh. Um, the, uh... How many people are going to buy the new Tinder show? Show thing, right? I'm looking at really horrible. Um, for three I'm reasons. looking at number one. Two, no right now. Two was not funny. Mm -hmm. Number three, he even hijacked some of his old material from the special mm -hmm. about how he just got like nicked by the by the by the by the hand stuff. Yeah. Good morning. It wasn't that just funny. Type in yes in or a comedy no. Special, and it really wasn't funny. Buy and shoes. Open yeah. monologue. Yeah. So I think he's lazy. I think he sucks. Yeah. You know? I mean, I I I get it. He had he had, he had you know. He's going to the Jokes were pretty good from yeah. minute. 15 to minute 40. Yeah. And they lost him at the end, too. Yeah. So, and then, you see why he holds his mic like this? Why? Did you, see, you just watch the special? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as he takes his hand off the mic, he starts fucking with his fingers, he starts doing this shit, he starts fucking with his pocket. Yeah. He's got to have his hands on something, yeah. otherwise he gets twitchy so he and fidgety. Like this. So he goes like this to keep his hands yeah. together. Yeah. As soon as he did it, you can see in the back shots, he can see doing weird things with his fingers, mm -hmm. and then like you put it in his pocket to try to hide it. Yeah. How many people can hide their shoes? Back. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Because he's weird, like, you know. No, it was funny because, um, yeah, I think he might be better on podcasts. Like, he's better in a group kind of guy they're talking to. I'm sure he's fun reactively. He is, he is. But Louis C.K. said something pretty special about it. He, he said, like, he was talking about Shane Gillis, he goes, it's something I've never seen before. Because he's a product of, like, a red state. Like, he's, he's, a, he's a Republican, you know. Mm -hmm. But he, he mainly plays to, like, Brooklyn liberal kids, and they love him. And even if he doesn't have the room at the beginning of the set, or towards the middle and the end, he turns them. He's like, I've seen it. I've never seen anything like that before. So he's, he's pretty he's fair in his like, comedy, though, too. Yeah. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's a cool guy. He's uh, probably like us. He's yeah, like, he's a cool guy. I'm he's a range, so no, I just don't think he's a top notch. Until no, no, probably not. Oh, that's awesome. There was another guy I was obsessed with for so a while until so I realized his stand up wasn't that great, but I think his podcast has been going. I guess maybe right. I thought they were a little cooler than uh, He's than, uh, than uh, Wayne's only watched the one. <laughs> the Insert the morning, Highway 73. I'm here. Good blips, J. Bullock, Mitch Mitch. Yeah, so one can draw. Math. And he's more. But kudos to you for going back and, and taking a listen. No, I wanted to, I wanted to, yeah. I wanted to be able to comment right. intelligently and not just say that, that he's just a douchebag. Yeah. Um, promo code Lummy, you need to call the clerk of the court and fall on the sword. And hopefully she's in a good mood. And you need to be smiling when you talk on the phone because she can tell if you're smiling or not. Maybe offer her a pair of... Uh, Air Bubba Trump inspired shoes. <laughs> so my other glass, Travis. Good morning. <laughs> no, this is, look, that's funny. Bitcoin's up to fifty-seven thousand. It's down like thirty. Is Bubba wearing slides in his? Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, good morning. You're welcome. Uh, oh, shit. This challenge going to piss him off for him. Morning, you gator. No one should mind. Come here, come here, come here. And you're cured. <laughs> Life saving Dr. Dan. Again. She works. Why do you too. flip your car? Yeah, he goes. <laughs> I just gotta rescue a cat out of a fucking tree today and I'm golden. <laughs> Listen, I flipped that car on purpose. I, I flipped that car on purpose. Yeah, I have a little charge on the street. You were mad that the windows didn't I thought, it was, I thought it was that cop. I was talking yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> Two 
The following broadcast is not for the mocha, soy, latte drinking, tree hugging, Birkenstock wearing crowd. I'm not giving you a compliment. If you tuned in by accident, get the f out of here now before all the beer drinking, whiskey shooting hell raisers find out. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Lummy, I think I uh, put a link on all of our, uh, all of our, I'm sorry, Facebooks. Uh, let me put one on X right now. I can send you guys um, what I'm, what I've been putting up. Maybe you guys can just freshen it up. A little. Oh, hold on, yeah, but I, my words didn't go through. Damn it. Let me see. Only available. Hold on, only available to pre-order till March 5th, 5 p.m. Like the music. Get them, yeah, me too. Probably gonna get a strike on it. <laughs> get them while you can. Only doing one run of these. Boom. I just put it on our X, Lummy. Awesome. So maybe Anna can get it and put it on the Insta. You guys can go ahead and put it on with the Liz Opals. I put it on, and on the other Tizoc. side. Tizoc, Tizoc, Tizoc. It would be cool if I could get Dion to, 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 put, to, to put on a pair. Would that be cool? Oh, yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. Hey, Baba, someone was asking on chat, what's the tread look like? Do you have a picture? Oh, you know what? I don't. I do not have the tread picture. I'll, I'll tell Merch Crate to give me that. You have it picked? You picked one? Was there a ch couple choices? I'm going to be honest with you. I've, I, I've, I, I have picked one. I've just not. Just don't have a pick, not, pick I'm, of it? I've not seen it. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, does, it, does the tread design really matter? Well, someone says that you should put a Bubba, Bubba in, on the tread, too. <laughs> oh, you mean like the fat guy donut loan it? Uh, oh, the, yeah, yeah. Come on, like Jordan print in the sand. Yeah, that'd like be Jordan cool. does, yeah. That'd be an oh. interesting thing. I'm not trying to make it more difficult or put a, a wrinkle in your in your plan, but. Yeah. Merch Creek, if you're listening, uh, maybe talk to your. She's been dry. She's been wearing this guy out. Because <laughs> she would, you know, we'd come up with the thing, and then I'd be like, oh, you know what? Like one of the changes the guy had to make, like it. Seven o'clock at night. We had it finalized by like four, but then I'm like, oh, you know what? Initially, it was going to be the Bubba Army logo on the side, and I'm like, no, you know what? Send him the Bubba Fat Guy Dunkin' a Donut deal and see if he can do that. So then he <laughs> guy did that. And then I'm like, oh, don't forget, we need an all red sole because I had the red sole with the white, you know, with the white mm -hmm. accent and matches like those get dirty easy. I'm like, see if you can it's do true. an entire red sole. So that was a change. And then he puts the fat guy dunking a donut, but he didn't have me wearing, he didn't have the black slides like accentuated. It was just, you know, like, so I said, see if he can make the slides that I'm wearing on the fat guy dunking a donut logo, see if he can make those black. And so he, he made them black. And that was like at 830. So maybe I can ask her to in the soles, in the red soles the on, the, on the bottom, on the bottom of the tread, that in the middle, it has the fat guy dunking a donut logo that'd be awesome that so would be kind of cool yeah. i mean it's a great idea i think it wasn't mine it, it was chats yeah chat who uh who, i don't know i let me have you have you, got to, a, uh, oh, hold on. Have you, you already said that have you got a cross section as to what the enthusiastic level uh has been in in chat are they taking a shiz on it 90, they, 10. Uh, yeah i was gonna say 80 80 20 but yeah Dan, 80 20 Dan, yeah but dan said 90 10 so i mean i know he's been watching well, let's chat. go let's go 85 uh you know 15 there then. we go <laughs> And boy, if we can get that fat guy dunking a donut on the tread design, that would be even better, would it not? Yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. So I think this is Mike. I think this is Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs. From Dirty Jobs, and now he no longer. I don't think he's done Dirty Jobs in like well over a decade because oh. he's just, he, he's just so he's that propelled him to such superstar status that he does all kinds of different things now, and uh, one of which is a podcast. And I really, really believe I, I, I got this a couple of days ago and I wanted to play it because he's dead on. He is absolutely dead on. You know, I've been very critical of our of, of the immigration situation that we're going through right now. I've been very outspoken and very critical of it. That's getting bigger. I think it's just absolutely a rep, a, a recipe for disaster. 
I think these seven to eight million people that have got into our country illegally. <clears throat> now, well, I mean, I guess leak. I, I mean, are they are they legal or illegal immigrants? Well, sometimes they call them undocumented. They're yeah. all illegal, dude. There's I mean, not a single legal immigrant coming across the southern border. So the eight 100% million, hundred percent illegal. What I'm most worried about is this: the eight Even million. Even if they go through the port of entry. Yeah. The eight million. They're going to have sex immediately, oh, and have a and have a and no and have one of those anchor babies. Of course, yeah. But the problem, Bubba, is the eight million is not four million women and four million men that like each other. It's about a million women and seven million men. I know that no but, one wants to deal with. But here's the deal: you don't think, first of all, you know how horny men are, just in general. Yeah, we'll put them in the bathhouse. So, uh, so no, but I'm as these immigrant immigrant women. Some of which are probably pretty good looking, are you know roll, rolling, seen the not. rolling, rolling <laughs> through the bowels not. of Chicago and New York and Boston and L.A. and stuff like that. The cities are picking. You know they're going to find some homeless person that'll knock them up. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> they look like the rest of the stuff that travels through bowels. I mean, the the the, the people coming across the border are as about undesirable looking as you can get. They're not educated. They're not. They're not healthy. They're not attractive. They don't have giant they don't ha- jugs. They, they don't, they're, not, they're, not, they're not trained to do anything except for suck off the teat of America. Well, oh, and dear. suck it off and suck it off the teat of America. <laughs> it, it, that, that means entrenching yourself into the uh, America. And what better way than to have an anchor baby? I mean, right? If I'm a, if I'm an immigrant woman, I'm like I need to get as pregnant as fast as I can. Here is the gold mine, the gold mine. So we're suck. I mean, right back to what I said. Yeah, exactly what you said. Exactly That's, what I said. And I don't know that we have a template that can fix that. I mean, now we can shut the borders down if there would be a change in presidents. We could shut it down, but we've already let 10 million in. I mean, that's like, I mean, right? Mm-hmm. It's like saying, you know, I mean, station. I mean, they're I already so. they're already in. Well, Venezuela's not taking them back now. They said, I don't who cares. Well, and can't we don't want to speak up here, here we go. about it because we're afraid of being labeled haters. Exactly. And, you know, there's a study that I talk about and we've got issues where we compared people's willingness to speak up in 1950 versus willingness to speak up now in 2023. And it has people that are unwilling to express their views have tripled since 1950. People don't want to talk now. And people just are, you know why? Because of the cancel society. Mm -hmm. And people just want to mind their own business, don't raise any type of uh, concern. Or get loud, or or protest, or yep, let it let, let let your opinion be known, because the trolls will get a hold of your job, get a hold of your neighbors, get a hold of your family, dox you. <clears throat> I mean, it's like it's in, it's unbelievable. And, and and even if you were just to be like, listen, I'm pro-American, I love my country. Let's keep politics out of it. But when we let 10 million people into our country, undocumented. You know, illegal immigrants. This is the sort of thing that happens. And then you play this video of this guy who's bragging that he had a child in America, which makes that child instantaneously an American, and how he's gaming the system. And the key to get free money is to have American kids. I think that our system is not set up for that wrinkle, and we're done. Like it's like it's it's a it's a recipe for business disaster. Yeah, because if you do, and you can't say anything about it, because you get labeled, you know, a bad guy, or un, un, you're not humanitarian, or you're you know, racist. you're racist. You're they, they really like to throw that one. Mm-hmm. I'm not racist. It doesn't matter what color you are when you're coming to my through my borders. I don't care what color or ethnicity you are. We cannot accept you right now and your needs. Now, if you come over the border and you're like, hey, I'd like to sign up for a Social Security card, and I got a job already with my uncle who owns a lumber yard in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I'm going to work for him. You call up the uncle. He's like, "Yep." I mean, there, there, there are some great immigrants that are crossing the border that want to work, that, that really do. But then there's, I don't know, a majority of them. I, I would feel 
that want to do this the scam deal because haven't don't we give them free money? Yeah, especially isn't for that the kid. Part, isn't that part of well, when you when you cross the border and they herd you up and take you to a processing deal facility? Don't they let you for the most part? out into America and they give you a plane ticket or a bus ticket to where you want to go. They give you a phone and spending money. Or maybe I'm mis- maybe I have a misconception as to what they give you. No, does yeah, it, does you anybody know? They give know? you like a stipend and a place to live. Yeah, and they ask you where you want to go and then they give you a ticket to that place. And bus then ticket, depending on the state, phone. like if you go to New York, you'll get uh, you get money and a cell phone. And and, and some of this and is a place funded- to stay sometimes. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of this is funded by NGOs, non government organizations, which are Yes, because they are government organizations. The government funds NGOs and then calls them non-government organizations. And they, what they are doing is they're enabling this. They're the ones that are setting up assistance along the, the migration path. They're the ones that are giving them pamphlets, giving them the software, giving them apps to, 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 to game the system. And it's disgusting. We are participating. We're actively participating in our own demise. This is un. Uh, uh, unsustainable. This is unhealthy for the country. And this these is like people, if you had say a fat, how Rome felt. This, say would, it. this would, if, if, if this would be like if you had a fat ten-year-old <laughs> who weighed two hundred pounds. Oh, I used and, to watch those on Maury all the and, time. And rather than to take you know that two hundred pound ten-year-old and take him to the gym and put him on a nutritional program and try to make them in you know so that they don't die of diabetes, you just let them. My eat, baby, beautiful. You just let them eat anything they want at any time, and then the kid gets diabetes. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. When all it took was a little parenting, a little tough love and uh but so that that's what's happening here we're killing ourselves well, if you we're want, killing ourselves if you want to get more frustrated if you just rewind us to 155 about the immigration about that killing of the georgia student and how it, it's let's go let this guy out you guys aren't even looking look at the picture you're afraid you guys don't have anything jesse to say? confronts politicians over the kate this was until he was just showing like a, something. This is like an Alex Stein thing. He goes to a, like a, a public in, meeting. This is in San Francisco, 2015. Yeah. And yeah. what this this uh, this illegal immigrant killed this nursing student? No, well, th- this was uh, he a killed different... another student, but he was just showing that he's been fighting this in Hold 2015. On. Thank you very much. Next speaker, please. Nothing has changed. Uh. Lake and Riley, a 22-year-old nursing student, was murdered in Georgia last week. Blunt force trauma to the head. <sighs> The suspect, Jose Antonio Ibarra, is an illegal alien from Venezuela who broke into our country two years ago. This is what the White House said at the time. So this guy broke into our country two years ago, was not documented, was not processed. He's one of those, you know, razor wire jumpers. He got in. He's been mingling throughout our country undocumented. And illegally for two years. And been arrested. Yeah, he was apprehended by the NYPD and they let him go. And Georgia. Been arrested two different times, let go two different times. Instead, when we arrest, we send back. That that's r- arrest and send back. Bye-bye. Not arrest and let go. Arrest and send back. First arrest. I don't care if you get pulled over. You know, going fifty-five at a fifty-four. Oh, wow. and if you don't have the proper documentation to prove that you're saying out. And we, I will build. If I was a, if I was a politician, I will build a big ass detention center right in right in Brownsville, Texas, or wherever the hell, so that we send you there to process you, and then we open the door and get, kick your ass out. Yeah, just get open out. the blue factory. Go go into Mexico, you son of a bitch. I want to ask you about the border? Would you call the border secure? The border is secure. We're gonna have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? By the way, two million people by since this fiscal year. Yeah. Not two million over this next ten months. Not two year. Two million since uh, she took office. Not, I'm talking. This is Kamala Harris. In twenty two. Not, not to, just. There's going to be two million people probably by the end of March. Jeez. Bubba, this is you're taking this out of context. This was in September of 2022, which is at the end of the fiscal year. The fiscal year ends at the end of September. All right, so, so that's two million dollars. Two million. Two million in fiscal. Admitting to in fiscal 2022. In fiscal 2022. Okay. We have a secure border, in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. 
catch and releases right. and security. Now, FBI sources even say Jose assaulted a federal agent when he was caught, but the Biden administration released him into the country anyway. They bought him a ticket, sent him here to New York, where Mayor Eric Adams gave him a free hotel room and culturally appropriate meals. Uber Eats hired him to deliver food, so Jerry Nadler was happy. But then he was arrested in New York for endangering a child. He walked. No, I mean, strike two. What you should you should be thrown out on strike one. Yeah, strike two. Out mm -hmm. of jail without getting deported because we're a sanctuary city. Alvin Bragg brags about it. Jose headed south to Athens, Georgia, where he met up with his brother Diego, and they both were arrested for shoplifting. But one strike three. Mm -hmm. But you're still okay. Right, but you're still okay. Stay, Once stay. again, Athens is a sanctuary city, so no one was deported. And a few months. Man, go to, <coughs> go to Polk County. Pull this <laughs> nonsense. Months later, Jose murders Lake and Riley. Police call it a beautiful girl. Whole she life ahead. She went for a run in a wooded area in, in the middle of the whole, afternoon. Whole life ahead of her. Just and, and you know what, Anna? That would be something you would do. She just got married too. Maybe I, not in a wooded area, but yes, no, I'm I mean, go for a run. Absolutely. absolutely. Three in the afternoon, I'm gonna go for a run. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this looks a little woodsy over here. Okay, cool. No problem. You know, it's the middle of the day. She's I mean, on, uh, and she's on campus. Yeah, I'm on campus. Oh. It's the middle of the day. I mean, my yeah. lord, could you? you there, there's you should uh, you should. You can't there, fault her for running in the woods on yeah. campus. You can't Come on, feel, it's like, on there's assumption of safety there. Crime of opportunity. They didn't know each other. They just saw her jogging on a wooded path and decided to bash her head in. At every step of the way, at the border, in New York and in Georgia, a dangerous foreign national broke the law and suffered no consequences. Because of fringe policies, the And this is just one that we know of. Mm -hmm. This is just one, just one. That, that only a few people are talking about. Right. Not everyone's even talking about this. ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN. They, well, they plays break, over this. They break it down saying, like, they don't call them illegal. Our left claims are compassionate. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, they say, but I'm not sure these intentions are good. Former President Donald Trump is scheduled a campaign stop at the border Thursday, and suddenly President Biden announced a visit to the border on the same day. <laughs> and while grabbing ice cream with Seth Meyers and Rock Center earlier this afternoon, Joe Biden couldn't even bring himself to say the Georgia student's name. I was planning to go Thursday. What I didn't know is uh, my good friend apparently is gone. All right. The president still hasn't mentioned the dead Georgia co-ed. Aside from a weak statement, Binder released about people should be... We would like to extend... I'm sorry, this is, is, this, the, is this the White House's official statement? Yeah. Uh, on, on, this dead, on this dead student? Correct. Go on. All right. The president still hasn't... We would like to extend our deepest condolences to the family and loved ones of... Is it Lakin? Yeah. Lakin, Hope, Riley. Uh, people should be held accountable to the fullest extent. Yeah, Mention you. The dead Georgia co -ed. Yeah, you. Who let him go three times. Aside from Those are the people that should be held accountable. A weak statement. The, by the, the city of Athens uh, Police Department. The city of New York's Police Department two different times. The border in itself. And released about people. It's should not be the held police department. It's the uh, attorney's office. It's the attorney's there office. It's, right. their, it's their prosecutor's department. It's not the police. You can't fault the police on this. They brought him in, busy going and the prosecutor Trump. let him go. Right. And Pat McGovern and Denzel, they're bringing him in. And Chad McGarry, they're hooking him, but the but the but the district attorneys are letting him go. Right. Yep. And enough with the ice cream. What's so special about liking ice cream? Everybody likes it. I don't get this whole Joe Biden ice cream thing. I don't. E I don't either. It makes him to me. It makes him look older. He does look older. He's got this ice cream There's and some, like uh, porridge. Listen, let me just tell you something. I don't know. There's not a lot of people in this world that can pull off eating ice cream looking cool. And he All certainly. Girls can. I mean, some yeah, some hot chicks. That you got some. It's a little bit running down the side, and they so sensually lick it, and it's just oh, yeah. yeah. That's, Keep going, Bubba. But <laughs> but Joe Biden is the furthest thing from that from a human being that can look somewhat sexy while eating an ice cream cone. Yeah, so you don't even need teeth to have to have enjoy ice cream. Yeah, vanilla ice cream. Well, cone. first of all, I think you got to be below like maybe sixty, <laughs> and you got to have some jugs. Uh, and it helps to be attractive. Right. While illegals are murdering our girls. Now, I'm not asking the president to give up ice cream, but save it for vacation. Now, will this grisly murder be a turning point in the election? 
Diff- no, hell no. They won't get enough press. Difficult to say when the press frames it as Republicans pouncing. So uh, Republicans obviously seizing on this horrific tragedy at the University of Georgia. Um, this girl, this nursing student killed uh, by an undocumented Venezuelan uh, migrant. And they're seizing on this as an example of Biden's failure to protect the American people, to secure the border. OK, well, I mean, like, I mean, in its most fundamental, fairest framing, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, if you were to be intellectually honest, take the red or the blue pill right on out of it, and you were just to call a spade a spade, black, black, white, white, and, you know, what it intellectually, that's what it is. Our president's inability to secure our border and to allow illegal people into our country uh, paying their way and allowing cities to have sanctuary cities where illegal immigrants can commit crimes and be let go, that's in its fundamental form what happened here. Mm -hmm. I'll go one step further. It's the current administration's encouragement to foreigners to just cross the border illegally and take advantage of all the things we're giving these illegal aliens. That if, but not for that. I got to sell tennis shoes to be able to make a living. <laughs> these 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 immigrants could just get a big just fat check F. for just for, F. For jumping over some razor wire. That's right. Mm-hmm. The Atlanta Journal Constitution said a 26 year old Athens man was charged with murder. An Athens man. The Associated Press was worse. The killing of a nursing student out for a run, highlights the fears of solo female athletes. That Man, are they way off base on what the yeah. real story is. Mm-hmm. Are you on kidding me? Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Dustin out of Charleston. How y'all doing this morning? Hey, Dustin, what's going on, buddy? Not much. I, I just wanted to um, bring up, uh, you brought up a great topic, and I actually Joe Rogan actually just had Dr. Phil on yesterday or last week. And they talked a ton about this topic and uh, very uh, just top of mind for me. And it was really crazy that when the migrants are coming across, they're being told there's a border patrol and a Texas border patrol. And one wears a green uniform, one wears a brown uniform. And they're being told to, you know, run to the green uniform because if they arrest you, they're going to process you and give you the, the you know, the, the ticket and the green, money. And green the is phone. good. But green is good and brown is bad. Because the brown guys yeah, must be the Texas guys. Te- the, must, the brown guy, the brown uniform people must be the Texas uh, uh, Enforcement Bureau, and they're sending you back. Meanwhile, the green feds, they're letting you in and sending you the money and telling you, you know, giving you a ticket to where, you know, whatever city you want to go to. So green is good and brown is bad. Also, the sad part is that uh, as soon as the Biden administration took uh, took office, they quit the rapid DNA testing. So if a young child comes to the border with, um, a, you know, an adult male um, and they say, oh, this is my niece. They used to, in the Trump administration, be able to DNA test to find out if that actual right, child not like belonged a to that, mm-hmm. that person. And now they can't do that anymore. So now they're they're literally, and Dr. Phil kind of broke this down, um, we're using t- uh, American tax dollars to funnel these children into America, and they're being sent to sex trafficking and uh, sweatshops, just kind of like that Sound of Freedom movie. Yeah. Um, it's really sad stuff, but a really great uh, podcast to watch. I thought it was uh, relative to the topic. I love Joe Rogan and love him. He and, and, and Joe Rogan loves me, too. So, uh, man, thank you for your uh, thank you for your information. Listen to us on Charleston. By what means? How do you how do you get the show? Uh, I'm a tune in guy until you guys uh, move to something else. But I'm a tune in guy. All right, fantastic. Appreciate you, Bub Army HQ. Though, when you want to move, yes, sir. All right, buddy. See ya. Oh, in the article, they say authorities arrested Athens resident Jose Antonio Labara. Nowhere in the story does the AP mention he's an illegal with a rap sheet. That's like saying the 9-11 attacks were perpetrated by Boston residents and (laughs) (laughs) this is this is a pretty good analogy, is it not? Highlights the fears of businessmen and skyscrapers. (laughs) Right on cue. Axios writes, quote, conservatives are falsely suggesting that anyone can get into the U.S. without much hassle. But the southern border is more fortified than it's ever been. That's why. Yeah, right. That's why two million last year. And we're on a two million right now fiscal year uh, 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 
trek right now. Isn't there, wasn't there like been 1.2 million let in so far this fiscal year? Mm, yeah, 45 so days? Well, yep. I'd call assaulting a Border Patrol agent and getting handed a free bus ticket to New York hassle-free. And the border's more fortified than ever. Biden stopped border wall construction and then blasted holes in the wall so antelopes could roam free. AOC says Republicans are haters and everything's just fine. The idea that Republicans, in order to win an election, say we need to hermetically seal the border when they know that that would be, that is economic self-sabotage to the U.S. economy. Yeah. It's economic self-sabotage. Because okay, let's assume, let's assume she's right. Because we're handing these people all this free money. Yeah. Well, what working. she's saying is, what she's saying she's is. She's saying the migrant workers who want to pick the, pick the crops and right. things like that. And we're the, you know, a white guy from Pinellas Park ain't going to go out and pick, you know, strawberries for, you know, 10 bucks an hour. She's saying that America's economy is relying on low wage manual labor, immigrant labor. I disagree. Okay, that, I disagree too. Because first of all, what we're doing now is we're not fixing that by our current policy. By by having these people come across and then just giving them tickets to wherever they want to, across the country and a cell phone and a court date five years from now, that does nothing to address the the, the problem that she's alluding to in this this necessity, this both blue and red necessity and unwillingness to definitively control the problem. And so, I- go ahead. And they are saying, let's let's do it anyway, while being as xenophobic and anti-immigrant as, as they are, and while ginning up this this false narrative about uh, false narrative. It's all over the news. If they were coming over with work permits specifically to take care of, you know, migrant work that is seasonal, that is, tends to be agricultural or construction related. I no problem. I got no problem with that. And they're tracked and they pay taxes and everything's above board. But there's a problem. That's not what's happening. There's a problem with this, too. A lot of that's going automated. They have machines and stuff that are going to be p- picking strawberries yeah. and all that. What are we going to do with all these people after that? Kill them. This being. S- <laughs> s- s- no. <laughs> s- no. Send them money. Yeah. Continue to support them. But, but do you see how, like, the the thing that Micro was talking about, right, about 4 million American men or whatever, they don't want to get jobs because... What, those pro- just, and those are just American guys. That's what I'm saying, is, like, they've they've been de-incentivized to find work because the government is just paying all their bills. It's the same thing. I mean, humans, y- you can't just give people a bunch of free money and then be like, oh, they're going to just they're gonna just start working on their own. It's like, no, why would they if they can get away with not doing well, that? Well, I mean, just like the guy said, he, had, he was holding this baby up to the camera and said, hey, here's the golden ticket. Absolutely. Have yourself an American kid, just like I've been saying now for a couple And there's plenty of Americans weeks. that do that as well, that have plenty of babies so that they all go on welfare and they collect money from the government. Sure. It's no different. So it's We're like already, listen, we have some American, we have a, we, who we are have, trying to we have Americans that are, the that are doing this. Absolutely. And that now we have the immigrants that have figured it out as well. It, double, like, now we're double dipping on the free absolutely. money deal. It's like we know nothing about human motivation and incentives. So it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, when I return, this is big news of a couple days ago, and I just saw the video. Oh, isn't it crazy? It's at, and, I, and I I don't know. I think I can play the edited one under the guise of this is a very you know important and and just a very graphic news story. Um, it's where the U.S. soldier goes somewhere in Washington. Was it uh, was in it the is- D.C.? Is- yeah, the yeah, Israeli uh, embassy. Yeah, the Israeli yeah, embassy. Yeah, goes in front of the Israel embassy. He's Now he's a he's a current active military, you know, so I think he's part of the U.S. Army. And I don't think he's, like, Israeli. He's not Palestinian. No, nope. just, I just think he's a regular American. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, man, Yeah, I just think he's a regular white guy. Yeah. I mean, like, whatever that may or may not be, that's what he is. And he's not happy with how our country is handling you know, the Israeli, you know, Gaza Strip slash Hamas situation mm-hmm. is not happy with it. Uh, and he literally sets himself on fire. And there's gr- very graphic footage of it. Now, the footage that I play will be edited to the point where it's blurred, where he starts actually starts when he when he lights himself on fire. Uh, I think I can play that under the. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm certainly not making fun of it. It's a very newsworthy story, and it's something that you know I would like to speak about. Now, I also have the unedited version that we could play during a commercial break, 
uh, or something like that if you guys wanted to see that. But uh, it's quite disturbing. Like, man, Dan. I, I don't mean, like I, stuff like I, this. I, I would say that you probably have a pretty good idea as to the levels of dying and what are most painful and what are least painful of about killing yourself. And I would think that setting yourself on fire might be one of the most horrific ways to die. Because I got to think that you're alive for a large portion of while your skin is literally melting you off your bones. You can hear him screaming. I mean, he's clearly alive. I, I mean, don't think he died on scene either, right? Didn't he yeah, die in the hospital? Probably died later. Yeah, he died yesterday at the hospital. So, I mean, you know. Not a good mouth- idea. It hurts a lot, and you almost always die. Yeah. <laughs> mouth to the shock. And listen, and I'm not, I'm not trying to give you ways to kill yourself, but there's got to be some very... More humane yeah, ways to kill Yeah, there's a thousand better ways to kill There's what a thousand sleeping better ways pills, to die. dude? Yeah, how about just a whole bunch of sleeping pills, buddy? Get that a hold might of your, be better. Get, get a hold of your mom's Xanax and get a hold of, you know, like an alcohol. Like, get get drunk and take, well, I mean, I'm not going to, I probably no, no. shouldn't be saying Yeah, no, no, just of, let's, no, 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 there's no, just live. a lot. If you have a problem, call the suicide hotline. Yeah, there yeah. you go. 1-800-DON'T-KILL-YOURSELF. If you got a problem and you want to kill yourself, let me not give you ways to do it. Why don't, why don't you get to, uh, you know reach out to the suicide prevention hotline? That's what you need to do. This is very disturbing. I'll get to it next. Deliciously disgusting. You're absolutely right. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Hold on one second. We're on a break, so we'll be back in about five minutes. Fan Secret Habit, 67 months. Morning, birthday Perez. What's up, Jules Cat? Manson was the mole. Johnny B04, good morning. Get your shoes before. Dion's top 68 months. Is that 
another fucking troll. What is this? That guy's like weird, weird stuff coming up, right? What? Follow me on YouTube. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I... The, the, the world's... It was well, weird. Evo was weird. This guy's Wayne Gal Galasso is saying weird shit. What's up, Rick Richard? CPD Chicago, 1973. Oh, actually, then, so... Chatters at uh, he thought his uh, he thought his court date was. I saw that. You got. I thought said you got to call the clerk of the court and, and okay, beg so for forgiveness. Yeah. Hope she's in a good mood. And smile when you're talking because she can tell through the phone. <clears throat> What's up, C P D Chicago, 1973. Doesn't roll off your tongue. I like oysters. Tampa Bay are good oysters. Shitty oysters and I like Florida oysters in the summer. I know the giant the olive color. So I'm not. I know. <laughs> they still serve them. I know. You're around. What has cholera? The the, the summer oysters. Summer oysters. Oh, no, just the people on that Norwegian ship. No, no. no, no. They weren't allowed to talk. Yeah, that's all that. <laughs> they could have been eating bad oysters. I don't even give a fucking. I almost, well, died. I I almost died from water. bad scallops. In the summer. Did you know what it was? What kind of scallops? You just, you just started getting sick. No, 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 scallops are just scallops. Did scallop you, sushi. Did you just get really sick or did you get diagnosed? Oh, I, I was sick for a week. I was in the hospital. So sick. It was right before I took the uh, <laughs> medical board. So it was a while ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I didn't know. I didn't know better. And we, I was studying. I, I, me and my friend and I were studying like all day long. We were like, let's have sushi tonight to treat ourselves since we were so good at studying. We got this big ass fucking sushi boat. And a fucking cockroach crawls out of it. And I had already eaten some scallop sushi. And he and I were deathly ill for like six days straight. We both were in the hospital twice. Went to the hospital. That bad. You see the two scallops I were after the cockroach. Did it taste bad when you tasted it? Or? I can tell. Okay. Well, with oh, scallops in the shrimp, you can hide the smell and the taste. Easy. But not the actual virus that's in it. What's going on? Congratulations. There's no remorse and no regret associated with anything they do. Let me the num numbers are actually pretty staggering what we've sold so far. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Bubba Army Store, Bubba Army Merch, BubbaArmyShop.com. They're only up until next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Then I got to close it, and they're gonna make. <clears throat> they're actually in process of making them now, getting all the molds and. All the design and things like that. She's checking on the Bubba Army fat guy dunking a donut uh, on the sole. She's checking on that. So Bubba, is the inside gold too? The inside it looks like the inside of the shank is gold too. I, uh, I, yeah, I, that yeah, looks gold. I, I, I think so. That's awesome, man. So it's got the Bubba Army, uh, you know, the Bubba Army uh, insignia as your tongue. Here is the uh, the side of them. Here is the front version of them. And uh, here is uh, the side version of them. And then again, right, you're right, Dan. It looks like they might, I think they might be gold all the way through the inside. Gold on the inside and on the outside. Yeah. Uh, it's the new Bub Trump inspired Bubba Army shoe. I only have, it, it's only going to be up to uh, available for a week to order. And at that, we're done. BubbaArmyStore.com. Size is what, Lummy? Like eight to fourteen. Eight to fourteen, yeah. And then women sizes as well. Six to and six and I think even there's a I don't know what she's there's a line through here, but it looks like you can order eight point five and nine. The line usually means she needs to put inventory in it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Cause that means it's sold out. Yeah, so I'll merge quick uh fix that if you could please. 
Hello. We'll have, we should have these in four to six weeks. We might have them before Trump has his out. Uh, hi, who's this? Hey, it's Jerry the Jobber. Uh, so anyway, Bubba Army Store, BubbaArmyMerch.com. Get your Bubba uh, Air Bubba t- uh, shoes, Trump-inspired. Yes, what can I do for you, Jerry Jobber, the Jobber? Hey, hey, I just wanted to give a shout-out to Derek from uh, Handyman Roofing. I, love love I, Handyman I Roofing, talk- owned by my good friend Richard Fabrizi, yes? Yes, I, I had talked to him last night. He tried to get me uh, financed with a finance company, but my father's credit wasn't any good. But, uh, yeah, but they... I just wanted to tell you, man, they got the – I had at least almost a dozen other roofers out, and they're far by, you know, better uh, price. Handyman's one of the largest in this area. I think they go clear to Orlando and Fort Myers and, and everything, and they usually are competitively priced, and they're owned by one of my very best friends, Richard Fabrizi. So I'm glad that they did you right, my friend. I'm sorry you couldn't get financed. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that it? Yeah, that's it, man. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. Handyman Ruffin. Right, peace. Look it up. It doesn't matter where. I think if, if I think anywhere from here to Orlando to, I think they're I think they're I think they're everywhere. So look up hand. Probably go to handymanroofing dot com. Yes, you can. Uh, let me air check that for me so I can send it over to right, to, to, it down. to Fabrizi. No problem. Uh, don't forget Monday we start uh, our Orlando debut. Whoop, whoop. And it, we really got a. I mean, I wouldn't say we got a radio war, but we really got some good competition. As we're going against Russ and uh, Russ Rollins and the was it Monsters in the Morning? Monsters in the Morning. Yeah, they've they've had a long time uh, run at not having any competition. Now this isn't your standard Bubba being a dick, gonna call Russ up, make songs about him, call his wife a whore. No, nothing like that. Russ and I are friends. It's gonna be some friendly competition, <clears throat> and um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Shannon Burke, uh, of course. In the afternoons, us in the mornings, and then our, our good buddy. Uh, was it Ron Miller? I forget the guy's name. Don Miller. Don, Don, Don Miller. There we go. Don Miller, the coolest the coolest black guy in all of Orlando. He's going to be, listen, everybody, <laughs> what a title. everybody in Orlando knows Shannon. Everybody in Orlando knows me. Don Miller is going to be the breakout star on this whole situation. You watch. Because most people of Orlando, they've heard me and Shannon. They probably are familiar with what we do. But you haven't heard of this Don Miller, Miller character. And you're gonna he's going to shock you. He's actually going to shock you probably more than Shannon and I do. Just by some of the way, just, ju- just by the way that he rolls. He's a cool cat. Uh, and that starts Monday on 103.1. God, it's going to be so exciting. It is. Can you imagine if we do well there? We will do well there. I know. What does that open up? A lot we'll of find out. Does, does iHeart say, oh, my God, they came in and, and marched into Orlando and, and not in Bubba fashion, being a dick, you know, trying to do trying to be disruptive and start a radio war, but just putting on his own show with his own crew, talking about the things that they talk about organically, as good of a program as it is, they beat – Hard guy, you know, in a, in less than a year. A disruptive <laughs> doesn't mean you have to be a dick. Being no. disruptive is just being, yeah. you know, standing out. Bubba's and being finally better. being disruptively in a cool way. Constructively disruptive. Yeah. And then so you don't think you don't think that iHeart then goes, Well, maybe we got this Bubba thing all wrong and instead of blackballing him, we need to hire him. We need to greenball him. We need to green we need to greenball him. And Bubba's uh, uh, re- uh, Macho is uh, displaying the coverage of the tower right now too. The oh, on uh, the the, the, the flamethrower! Oh, oh, oh. Wow, it gets out all that. Yeah, really? Yeah, I mean, so damn, I mean, dude. We're damn, dude. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be a. We're gonna be a thing in well, Orlando. Shannon Burke also said yesterday that once they switch over to mono, that signal is gonna improve. Yeah, he said that every ring. So like when they go to mono, the black ring will be where the green ring is, and the green ring will potentially be where the blue ring is. It'll just expand. And the blue ring will be where the yellow ring is, and the red ring. The red ring. The yellow and, ring. And, well, yeah, yellow, yellow. But the red. Hell, red. You could get us on both oceans. That's right. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. And we got most of Gulf of Mexico covered between AM 820 and 1031 in Valparaiso slash Fort Walton Beach. So, I mean, we, I mean we're big time now. Yeah, you can get us all the way up uh, 19, 19 to uh, 98 and 10. The whole way. This is the, the U.S. soldier 
Yeah. And again, I want to make sure that I emphasize to, you know, all our visual platforms. I'm, I, I won't have a problem with this, obviously, on our terrestrial radio stations because they, there's no visual aspect to this. But I'm going to play the visual of this. Now, it's blurred to an extent when he finally starts putting himself on fire. When he, when he starts to burn, they pixelate it out and you can you can hear him screaming and stuff, but you can't see it. He's screaming free Palestine. And that's what he's screaming, free mm-hmm. Palestine. Uh, during a commercial break, I, I don't even necessarily know that I want to see the, I do have the unedited, ver, un, unedited version, the, non, the non-pixelated. Yeah, he does. I do. I do. If you want to watch it, it's pretty disturbing. I'm, you know, it. watch. Remember that that pilot that was in the cage that was set on fire oh, about right. ten years ago. In Jordan or yeah, something like that in yeah. Jordan. Yeah, it was it was very disturbing. It's hard to watch this. And stuff. so this Oof, now like this that. this is a United States soldier that went in front of the Israeli um, embassy in Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. with a like a like a sixty four ounce thirst buster. Stanley Thermos kind of deal full of gasoline, dumped it over his head, and then lit himself on fire. He, was, a, he was an engineer in the Air Force. His name was Andrew Bushnell. There you a- go. Aaron. Aaron, I'm sorry. Andrew, Aaron, Andrew, it doesn't matter. And this is because he doesn't agree with our what we're doing as a country to help Israel. Am I assuming that's Who when you say he, he when you say uh, when he, you say free Palestine? That's what you're saying. Isn't he it? says, yeah. "quote I will not be complicit in the genocide regarding what is happening over there," so which is ironic. That, he's saying that so we're quit in your the job. Force, that we're killing. Yeah, so I don't know why he's in the military, but I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what exactly he did in what, the military. What as an does engineer. he? What does he think the solution is? Uh, this, I guess. Burning himself alive, I yeah, guess, and streaming for, it on Twitch. For some, right, social, so, for some social media attention that'll go away in three weeks. Right, that most, Less, pe- that most yeah. people have already covered and are over. Yeah. Active duty member of the United States Air Force, and I will no longer be complicit in genocide. See, these are the, these are the type, this is the generation of, shol- of soldiers that were... Recruiting. That, that were, no, that, I mean, we'll, at this point, Dan, we'll take anybody that'll sign up. They actually... Yeah. They found this guy's Reddit account, and uh, it, it's filled with just white guilt and a lot of you know far left ideas and stuff like that. So it's exactly what you would think. What's white guilt? I might well, have white some guilt, of that. White guilt <laughs> is what they're I'm trying white to and I'm guilt, I, Hold on, I'm guilty most of the times, and I'm white. So do I got white guilt? Yes. It's more of a feeling than oh. a. Is it more verdict. like? Is it more, is it more no. like? Uh, I, You're I, not. You're not apologetic for being white, so you don't really have. I don't think anybody should be apologetic for being any ethnicity. Exactly. Well, this, this I don't exactly. think exactly. It's, 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 it's a racist. It's not my cho- it's, not, it's not my choice. My whoever brought me into this world by whatever color or means they were decided to decided to make me. Yeah. And I didn't deter. Like you know, when I was when I was baking in my mom's stomach, they didn't say, "Hey, you want to be black." You want to be Chinese? You want to be Japanese? You want to be Irish? What would you, you have to... selected? Black? Mm. I would have selected have been black. Black every time. Black. <laughs> I want to be black. <laughs> I, I would love to be black. Yeah. I could, man, Don Miller, I, I could say the things that Don Miller say if I was black. <laughs> okay. Is that the only reason? I just said Don Miller, so I want to say that stuff. <laughs> you can say the N-word freely. I'm about to engage in an extreme act of protest. But compared to what people have been experiencing in Palestine at the hands of their colonizers. Dude, throw some Palestine red paint on the painting or something like that. I know. I mean, Put let, apple let, sauce let, on the paint. Uh, Glue your hand to the, to the street. Let's listen to, <laughs> let's listen to a set up here. Hold on, stand by. This is what our ruling class has decided will be normal. Oh, my God. And again, I want everybody to know that I'm playing this under the guise of this is a news story, very much a news story. And uh, I'm not in any way, shape, or form making fun of this guy. Um, I don't sympathize with the guy. I think that there's other means and measures of protest that you could do that would be as effective. And all all you've done is you've now killed yourself and you've ruined... Your, I'm, I'm assuming your, your parents are still alive. I, 
I'm assuming potentially you might have siblings. I'm assuming potentially you might, I don't know if you have a wife. I don't know if you have children, but you certainly have family. You have some type of family that love you, that love you and are proud of you that you're a U.S. soldier. And now you have ruined their lives. You have ruined, you have selfishly ruined their lives. For what? For what? Nothing that, that, not, that what you do here is not going to change anything. Nobody's going to do an abrupt. Th- uh, there's, the, the administration or your superiors or the people that you report to or the, or, or the, or the military uh, uh, exercises and the military strength that we're showing or not showing or whatever we're doing militarily wise over in the Strip or in Palestine or in Israel that you don't agree with. This isn't going to change it. And what's even more bizarre is like all the glory he thinks that he's going to get. He got from none. people saying you don't even get to enjoy. I, even, I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't even know the guy's name. Aaron. And so it you 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 wasted a, a, a very precious life. Every life is precious. Yes. And you need help. Mm-hmm. You, and this didn't do anything other than ruin the people that love you's life. And, I, you know, again, this is also a, a product of our secondary education system. This guy's college educated. He was taught in college that white is bad. That you should be ashamed of yourself for being white. White guilt. He's been, he's been peppered by this, by this mantra, this philosophy for the last eight years because society is propagating this absolute lie. And, you know, when Bubba, you remember when we were growing up, we were taught not to see race. Now we're taught to highlight race. How does that help racism? Doesn't it? Doesn't I know it in doesn't? Fact, it, it, fact, it makes it fact, worse. It makes Thank it you, worse. Obama. And Obama, this is Obama's fault. One hundred percent Obama's fault. Right, Obama Dan, started this in '07. Settle down. You're getting all churned up here. He we, did. We need to get Stir through this. this How do you feel about Hunter Biden? We need to get through this stuff. Okay. I like Hunter Biden. <laughs> we need to get through this. <laughs> he, he like he, he he Dan says I like to party with Hunter Biden. <laughs> Hunter Biden. <laughs> he no seems like him. a great time. He's not the problem with Dan this country. Dan says I hate your dad, but man, you're pretty cool, brother. Yeah, his, his dad's a douchebag, but. But but Hunter Biden, Hunter, your dad's a douche, but I, I like to go. Really I, to I, like to go out, I like to go out on a Saturday night with you. The way he rolls, yeah, he'd be fun, man. I think he'd be a lot of fun. I mean, he's, I like he's a Claus. scumbag, but he's fun. <laughs> Biden's just dangerous because he's clueless and he's in charge. His Mr. Magoo is driving this machine. But he likes ice cream. All right, here we go. Let's, let's continue this on. Okay, so this soldier, this U.S. soldier, yep. has a can. Highly of, educated, has a can of gas. He said he will oh no longer participate in this genocide. In his little metal c- And, and he says, and what does he say about Palestine while he's burning? Genocide. Gen- no, the, he won't be f- complicit in this free operation. Palestine. Free Palestine. Yeah. Yeah, free, free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine, sorry. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. Oh, Jesus. And now there's somebody trying to help him. Hi, sir. Can I help you? (laughs) Sorry. And and, and at this point, man, like, there comes a point where he really gets pretty flamey. And I don't know that it would be safe for anybody, even Dan, who wants to be a hero, even when Grandma flipped at 35 on the way home today, on the way to work today. Dan was 10 minutes late because the the older woman ahead of him hit a curb and flipped her car. And Dan stopped and helped her, at least until the medical people got there and assured she was okay. So he, mm-hmm. he went on. But, you know, like, there comes a point when the flame is so big that just even grabbing him will burn you to death. Yeah, all you can do is pee on him. Uh, they, they try to get a fire extinguisher. Sh- Why are guns on him? <laughs> the Z Morning Zoo on Z100. That's two. Oh, oh, he, he, dookie, dookie. You know, like if you get three a day, you might just have to leave or something. Oh my God. God. He can't get he can't get his lighter going because he got because oh, it's wet with gasoline. Right. Oh Jesus. Is that his can rolling yes. down the driveway? Yeah. <laughs> that's his. So he littered. That's yeah, he littered. Mm. Aluminum's <clears throat> biodegradable. Can I help you, sir? So this is where now the flames, he finally yeah. starts the flame and then here's, and this has all been blurred and pixelated out. At what so, point do you think you realize you've made a mistake? Right here. I don't know if he did. 
No, yeah, I, mean, he, I, mean, he, I mean, I mean, I guess, I guess, Dan, if you hit the ground and start rolling around, you might want to. Th- you figured, okay, maybe I made a mistake. This is too hot. I he do didn't not say like help it. me. Or he no, just, he commits. He, he commits. He stands for as long as he possibly can, longer than you would think he would. Here you go. Oh, hey! hey. hey. Now, Dan, probably at this point, if you can see, man, like uh, the the flames above his head, that is a big fire. Oh, that yeah, is it's a, catastrophic. That is a very, very. I, I think it probably even if they were to put him out right now, right it's now, he's probably he's probably it's too late. On the ground! On the ground! I do think it is a little ridiculous they come in guns blaze and tell them to get on the ground yeah i mean <laughs> come on police officers uh, <laughs> this guy they're just confused they don't know they don't right. know. they've they're been like, only trained and, for and, one and, situation and, 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 the acorn guy <laughs> and here's the thing man and here's the thing for police officers like they probably have not been trained for this no, no it they, doesn't they, happen they, very often. they're like listen you know what like when they went to police academy or whatever whatever wherever they've been trained and they constantly get refresher training on you know DUIs and crazy people and domestic just all the things that right. cops have to deal with on a daily basis but very rarely i don't think they have to train okay if you roll up on a guy who has set himself ablaze you know <clears throat> i mean i i don't know i i don't i don't know as a cop, I don't know why you'd come out with your gun out, though. I mean, because the guy seems like, what's he going to start firing a six shooter? I mean, I think this guy is pretty inca- incapacitated at this point. I mean, he and now Dan is that crackling? Is that skin and and yeah, that's uh, water material. popping. That's water and, popping. The crackling is water <laughs> evaporating. So now, I can't believe he's still this, standing. Now at this point, yeah, he's still standing, still standing. That's crazy. But, but he's but he's not screaming "Free Palestine." I mean, he's probably he can't talk anymore. He's probably dead. He falls. I... <laughs> not yet. He's still he's still standing. Yeah. He falls face first. There you go. He, fi- he, fi- he finally fell. Now, just falling did extinguish a large portion of the flames. The now and now he's just laying on the ground. Yeah, he's still burning. And and coming up, you can hear That's one of the other officers. He says, "I don't need guns. I need fire get extinguishers." Fire. Jesus Christ! Hey, get the fire extinguisher! Guy still aiming that gun. Now, what, I guess you don't what, know. I don't Den- know. What's Denzel doing with the gun? <laughs> he's gonna kick out. Uh, <laughs> you guy gonna kick out? All of a sudden, whip out an AK? Yeah. On you? <laughs> On the ground. Now, now, first of all, I think that perhaps maybe this police officer that's got him held at gunpoint might be reprimanded in the fact that, you know what, sir? I, th- I think that you really, you chose to draw your weapon at a very inopportune, like, you know, you should be helping, like this guy here, he's got his first aid kit. Well, first of all, this guy's the man. Yeah. He came mm-hmm. in first with the yep. extinguisher. Mm-hmm. This this police officer right. in the white in the white shirt. Mm-hmm. It looks like they might be from two different agencies. These yeah. two guys might be from the same agency as a, a different agency than this guy. Mm-hmm. And so and now this guy comes out and he's got his full blow, like police officers have like TAC medical bags. Yes, they do. They most have, of them have most of them have like a like a very very large backpack tactical medical bag that can remedy like can really do a lot of things. There's a lot of there's Narcan in there, and there's you know gauze Tyson and wounds, and I mean there's just all. Dan, they may even have an AED machine for all I know. I don't know. <laughs> Some they of them probably might. have a defibrillator. Right. Uh, we do here at work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we do. And uh, I think if you're if you're this guy's supervisor, this guy might be in trouble. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. not trouble. not Just... not that his his uh, participation would have saved the guy, because I think once the guy hits the ground, there's no saving him. Period. I need a fire. I need a fire extinguisher. They have it right here. It's coming. He said he has it. Another one. Another one. Guys, this cop. Now we got great okay. police officers trying to find additional fire extinguishers, and Denzel still got him beat it up. He ain't taking no chances. Uh, 
Yeah, that guy ain't going anywhere. He's he's still he's still burning. Go, 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 go. Come on. Hey, I'm going no, hold on. Gun, gun guy still beat it down. <laughs> Well, he's only got one chance to pull his gun, and this is it. Right. What is this? Who is this? All right, so that, that oh, is just so... Can you imagine the so, first person that watched that video? So disturbing. Oh, uh, I don't know if I could watch this one. No, yeah. no. Is this the real thing? Yeah, this is the real... Know. This is the real... This is this is the real, the real deal right here. Now, should I go into words and we watch this privately? Probably how I should do Probably. it. Yeah. <laughs> Find a safe place and stay there. The four horsemen of the apocalypse asked him for advice. Oh, God. Bubba the Love Sponge. Is this on Twitter? The, no, it's um, on a website. Huh? Wherever, it's on a website. All right, you guys watching? Here we go. face off too. Yeah, it's eating it all off. Is he just stumbling? Yeah. His legs shake, his legs shake. He's just he's losing it. He's losing it. Now is that down to the bone right there? No, not yet. It takes a little while. But it yeah, those are full thickness burns down to the fat. They can't even get it out. Let's go to gasoline. He's still got fuel. Another one. He burnt. God, he's just still. I mean, he's moving too. How about putting a blanket over him? Or? I thought about that too. You know that 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 ex, they got a blanket. Throw your shirt on him. Yeah. Smacking him. Jockey's 99, 49 miles. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Go past Naomi. Go better. This is Bart. CC Gonzalez, 28, 35 bucks. No rage against the machine. Same thing. Same thing. We're, we're flirting with 2000 on uh, Rumble. Yes, we are. Where did that happen? Georgia? Uh, bad idea. Right, we're gonna do this. Sign up petition. Almost at the yeah, okay. 800 on YouTube. new levels of insanity and depravity. depravity. Yeah, we're talking about... Um, Bubba the Love Sponge. The Bubba the Love Sponge show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Again, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. B-E-T-T-E-R, BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The best way to squeeze in that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters so that you can do it more. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist, and then you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. It's very easy to do. Again, uh, learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com. Forward slash BTLS. Make sure you put the BTLS kicker in because that's going to get you 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R, BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com. Forward slash B-T-L-S. Uh, let me, I, they're selling quite a bit of these nice. today. And you still got, you know, a week to buy these. But if first day indicators are any, are any, are any indication, we're going to sell a lot of these. And, they're, and, and, and again, I, I got the idea from Trump. And I'm like, you know, I, I sell merchandise from tactical bags to, you know, Straw hats to backpacks to oh, don't forget what's coming soon, Lummy Bubba Army Alpha Volume 24. See, Dan, you were supposed to be there for the Volume 24. But my mic oh, is off. Oh, you're right. So I tried, it's, nothing happened. I started talking, I was like, Volume 24, I'm whispering completely, too quietly. Completely, <laughs> my, completely my fault. And so I'm in the merch business. I'm always slinging some type of Bubba Army merch your way. Hell, we got black ducks for, for you guys to go jeeping or ducking on a jeep. Uh, and Trump comes out with these 10 issues, and I get a hold of the merch crick and said, hey, get a hold of a shoe broker, see if we could make some Bubba Army ones. So we've been doing it for like the last two or three days, and at first, where the fat guy dunking the donut uh, was going to be, was just going to be that. That was going to be just a Bubba Army logo, Lummy. Yes. And then I, as I refined this shoe, and down here was a little white, there was, it was half red, half white sole. Yeah. And uh, I used Macho Man's input to make it an all red sole. 
so that uh, it, it, it stay, doesn't get as dirty because white shows, you know, dirt. It's all gold. The Bubba Army um, the insert, as you can see, here is the top of the shoe, the tongue with the Bubba Army. Uh, and then Dan's most excited because it seems to be gold on the entire, everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, Inside and out. So uh, these are these are 149. They're, I mean, but Trump's for what, 400? Yeah, yeah, he's 399 and I'm 149. I'm half as it's much. A bargain. Yeah, there you go. Less than half. And the thing about it is we have I didn't I didn't put a limited number. I just put a limited amount of time for you then I'm only going to manufacture what I sell. So they're very very rare and you have a week to buy them and it goes anywhere from a men's size 8 to a men's size 14 and then from a woman's size 6 to a woman's size 9. You know, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine. And it really, really, Dan, it was impossible to like, you know, order all these sizes and try to par up. You know, okay, I'll probably need triple the amount of ten and a half that I would eight. Well, I think, Bubba, <laughs> what you'll find out is after the week, you'll see what sizes are the most popular. Well, absolutely, I will, and I'll only order those. Instead of saying, you know, okay, I'm going to order uh, 500 of them, but and I got to par it all up as to how many you'll order, and maybe you ordered, you know, way too many 13s and not enough 10s. Right. Right? And, you know, you got 15 size 13s laying around, and you ain't got no 10s, but you got 500 people that want 10s. Robert Treckler, f- Super Chat, YouTube. Thank, Thank you, you very much, my friend. So this gives you a way to get them and for me not to over manufacture but yet the still be very i mean i would say probably less than i'd say probably less than 500 will be made but i was i mean i would think that trump made 1000 maybe maybe we are since we're half as much you know we do half as many so get them while you can there's an there's in the while you're ordering them you can elect to have them signed or unsigned and uh and there you go. Dan, you're going to wear yours, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wear gold shoes. I sent I sent you a video of some of the uh, reaction to the video we just watched of the airman setting himself on fire. Oh, reaction videos? Well, just like <laughs> people are commending him and celebrating him. Did you, you get it? you want me to send it to you? Yeah, he's a, is this right here? Um, Let me see. This. No. Oh. He's a hero. Yeah. He's like Dr. Dan. He's a... Hero to me, Here. handsome and rich, and he drives a Ferrari. There you go. Daniel, you're, you're a star, and you make me so proud, especially wearing my shoes. You, you want to know something, uh, I guess, kind of funny and kind of pathetic at the same time about this whole thing is... uh. There's been a lot of discourse. So on social media, he's been hailed as a hero. They're making graphics that say rest in power. Yeah. And there's been a lot of sidebar discussion about the usage of rest in power uh, because he's not a black man. So oh, we Jesus. maybe shouldn't use that. You can't say rest in power no, to anyone. Black black black. Dr. Dan's they, woman argument you maker, $10 on the cash. Well, say, after all, white skin you, burned off. He's pretty black to me. You, 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 oh, you, no. You oh, should be able to say rest in power to anybody. Yep. To, you should. To, I mean, cause, I mean, but not according to that small subsection of the internet. Okay. Well, they can suck it. No, I mean, that's what's... <laughs> that's what's <laughs> Those woke ass mother efforts are what ruining our country. They're the ones. That, they're the ones. They're oh, the same oh, ones oh. that made this guy kill himself. Fu- futile, a futile death. His death will not result in any change whatsoever. This guy died unnecessarily. You guys could be for it or against it. To me, it's just purely a waste of life, secondary to the distortion he had to experience throughout his life and education and career. So thanks, guys, for creating all these monsters that we're going to have to deal with for the next 50 years. And here are various people that are are, are reacting to Aaron Bushnell's... That was his name, Aaron yes. Bushnell, right? Aaron Bushnell's is it mar- martyrdom? Martyrdom. Yeah. Martyrdom. Yeah. Being, a mar- being a martyr. Yeah. Evelyn. It's tragic that Aaron felt like he had to make this sacrifice, and that is on President Biden. A citizen of the United States, a member of the Air Force, came here and decided to, you know, tell his side of it, say he's not complicit in the genocide, and he lit himself on fire. He is a martyr, just like the rest of the Palestinians. Your sacrifices will not be forgotten. Your bravery will not be forgotten. The people of Palestine, thank you. We will honor all our martyrs! We will honor all our martyrs! 
as a former member in the military, I'm feeling the same way that he feels inside, watching a genocide take place. I am a Holocaust survivor, and it saddens me profoundly that a young man took his life to bring his message to the president. He was an incredibly brave, deeply moral man who's trying to stir the conscience of our country. And I hope that millions of Americans... All right, hold on. So let's just take a step back here. What do these people propose? Now, Dan, don't have a big Dan outburst. Okay. Be calm. <laughs> But the people that support Aaron Bushnell's martyrdom mm -hmm. and are making these videos and are saying, I hope that, that that opens up some eyes in the president and what have you, what do they think is the answer the to, 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 to what, you know, what, 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 it, what, what, what is the answer to this problem? From the river to the sea, displace the, the imperialist occupiers the 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 hebrews that are in israel now and to kill all the jews that's their goal i mean the, the slogan is from the river to the sea of palestine will be free but that's the message exactly right is eradicate the jews yeah. of israel that's the what they want to do they want to do they want to do genocide they want to kill all the jews so hold on so they're mad because and again i'm the least educated person here as the host so please help me walk through this yeah but so palestine which, if you date back before Israel was Israel, 48. Pa in 1948, Palestine had much larger of a geographical area than they have now. Well, the original British mandate also included what was called Transjordan, which is now just Jordan. So a lot of that was already given to the Arabs. And then what was left was essentially what is now Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza. And the Arabs had a lot more, but they kept invading in, in 67, uh, the, the war of um, 48, 67, 73. They kept trying to invade, and then Israel would win every time and then take back land because that's what you do when you win a war. And then they gave them to wars Gaza. Are usually, most wars are about, are about land. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And, and they were and attacked from all sides. So then in 2005, Israel goes, all right, we're done. All Jews out of Gaza. There used to be Jews that lived in Gaza. They took all these Jews out of their homes. They they dug up Jewish bodies out of cemeteries. Every, there was not one Jew dead or alive in Gaza in 2005. In 2006, Hamas came to power. I believe they, they quote, won an election or whatever in 07. And then since then, it's just been a nightmare. And they've been building tunnels. And I know we, we've said this before but they could have turned that place into freaking singapore on the mediterranean sea and they turned it into an open-air prison it's their own fault and so these people that say you know i'm military i support what aaron bushnell's doing aaron bushnell says i will not support the genocide uh you know free palestine so he as a u.s soldier is saying that he does not agree with the force or power or resources that we have given Israel to help fight this situation is that he's basically saying he does not agree with the the help that we've given Israeli Israel. Yeah, and the alliance that the U.S. and, and Israel has had for a long time because it's the only democracy. Let me put it this way. If Hamas put down their weapons, the war would be over. If Israel puts down their weapons, there's going to be no more Jews. Israel is gone. Why? Uh, and, so you tell I, me gonna, who's I'm really gonna, starting I'm, to fight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask this question, and I hope it's not – I'm sure it's offensive. Sure. But you have to help me get through it, and you're really the only person that has the standing to answer this question. So, Dan, don't churn, churn, churn in until after she spoke. Okay. Why are we continuing to try to kill and eradicate Jews? Why? We – no, the these oh. people, the, these you know, the, the, the Palestinians, the the Hamas, haven't we fought this battle? Isn't this over? Isn't this, hasn't this been, haven't haven't territorial lines been established for quite some time? Can't we let it go? Well, when you're indoctrinated as a small child, even in like their textbooks, they found you know math problems about well, if you have four Jews and you kill two, how many do you have left? 
So that they've grown up saying that, you know, want to know why, you know, this person died or why you don't have food or why you don't have clean water. It's because of the Jews. It's because of the Jews. Well, these these kids, mostly the boys, you know, they and the women are complicit as well. They grow up and they become part of the resistance because they have nothing else to do with their lives. And so they become part of Hamas or they become part of whatever, some sort of jihadist group. And and they dedicate their entire lives to waging war against Israel and becoming part of the, quote, resistance. So... And it seems like we get so vested in it that we have now our military personnel that are that's so, you know, twisted over this nonsense. N- not nonsense as far as what's happening, but over his ability to change things. I mean, can you really think of another example? Because this is really bizarre. This is really strange in terms of like a, a, an ethnic sort of uprising. But not only is Hamas waging war against Israel, fine, but it's really odd that they hide behind their own citizens. Many of the top leaders of Hamas are not even in Gaza. They're in Qatar in like luxury five-star hotels. So they're waging like a double war against their own people and Israel. What? No, it's, Dan, you can't. How is, what is Israel supposed to do? How do you fight that? Yeah, you like, can't. What? They send p- pamphlets into Gaza saying, leave your homes. You have to leave. We're going to bomb this area. And then there's militants of Hamas that prevent them from leaving because they want as much destruction and um, Jew- Jewish people to die and damage as possible. No, they want their own people to die. It's very strange. There's like no other civil, example. It's like of that. a civil war within a civil war, kind of, yeah. where it just kind of eats itself, and it's just a very so. A, like, so, so what? Do, what? What? Well, I don't know that we'll ever have an end to it. It's they've been doing it since again. They've been doing it for I don't know 60, 70, 80 years. Yeah. What? What finally puts an end to this? Economic prosperity. How you get Definitely there, helps. I don't know. Definitely Economic helps. prosperity. If you feel like you have a reason to live and that you have a future to look forward to, you're not going to spend your time building tunnels and, and you know taking weapons and trying to kill yourself or other people in the name of Palestine. If you have economic prosperity. Now, unfortunately, that keeps getting robbed by every time there's any sort of leadership, especially in Gaza. It's robbed from them, so they have nothing else to do. Who's the except- leader of the Palestinians? Uh, Mahmoud Abbas, at least in the West Bank, but of Hamas, I f- I forget his name, but he's in Qatar. He's he's a billionaire, dude. Could him <laughs> and Bibi and the other dude all get together and like come up have like a conference over the weekend? I mean, and- they have, but the the demands that the leader of Hamas has are ridiculous. It's like you know, give us all of your land or something, you know, right? Or they're like, hey, we'll release the rest of the forty hostages, but you have to release five hundred Palestinian, uh, you know, terrorists. It's hurry, like hurry not gonna up. happen. Stand with him now. You know, I think a lot of us here understand. No, I- would it be wrong for me to say as an American? Probably. Um, my name's Bennett, and I ain't in it. Like you know, I'm all for Israel. I like Israel. I'm pro Israel. I'm backing Israel on this situation. But other than that, I ain't got much to say about it. Is that going to get me in trouble, or is think, that okay? I think that's how most Americans feel. I mean, I, I most, certainly uh, yeah. don't want to get involved in another war. You know, and I have roots in in Israel, but I, I think understand. Israel's a far more uh, a, a far more recognized country as our ally than you know Hamas. Uh, and the Palestinians. Well, they want us dead. I know. So I'm they, saying they don't, see, that, we got to go. We, we got to go dance with. Yeah, our, the we, Jews we are have step to go, one. We got to go. <laughs> right. da- I mean, as a country, we have to go dance with our partner. So right, so, right. So the argument for us to fund Ukraine is that if they take you, if Russia takes Ukraine, then they're you know that's an entrance into Europe. And what we're not talking about is the fact that the the Muslims of, of Palestine not only want all the Jews dead, they want all the Christians dead, and the other types of Muslims that aren't like them dead. So even though it's this the, to them, the Jews are like Ukraine. Once they get through the Jews, then they're going to get to the rest of the Christians. So they're 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 fundament, the fundamental religious teaching. Of the, of the Muslims in Palestine is that everyone from the West and all the Jews are evil and they should all die. So to, to stand with them, for homosexuals to stand with them, whereas if they were openly homosexual in Palestine, they'd be beheaded or thrown off a building. For all of these people that, that are hated, all the Christians, all the Jews are hated by the Palestinians, hated by the Muslims, hated by Hamas, and yet they're there sucking their Ds 
and, and trying to like you know tickle them on the, on the bottom, uh, just to, to be different, to be trendy, to follow the the, the 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 social trends of today. Like the Israel's bad, Christians bad, white bad, Muslim good, white. Palestine good, and fat bad. You want to know something Nothing interesting? Nothing fat here. In Syria, uh, I think during Obama, um, five hundred thousand Muslims uh, were killed in a civil war. In Yemen, there's millions of people that have died at the hands of Muslims. In Saudi Arabia, the way that they handle business, if you say anything against the government, they behead you, take you away from your family. Man, if my show is heard in, 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 in Where's Saudi the Arabia. Outrage? Where I'd are these beheaded. people? Where are, the, where are these people when Muslims are killing Muslims? They're nowhere to be found because mm-hmm. no one cares. It's the same thing with the Black Lives Matter. When you have black on black crime, no nobody cares. cares. But as soon as it's a white person, even if it may be, I hate to say it, justified in a certain situation, then you see the outrage. This is exactly what is happening when you have Jews killing Muslims even if the context is somewhat justified people are outraged but when it's Muslims killing Muslims no one gives an F it's yep. outrageous You're right. he did what he did. she's right Thank a lot you. of us are feeling like we can't do anything about what's going on and I don't think this is going to be the last of our military members um, resisting I feel like I think I think that I think uh, our commander-in-chief should have a, a joint, chiefs, joint, joint chiefs of staff meeting with all of his military heads and, and trickle the, uh, the, the message down throughout the, the boys and the men and women uh, of, of, of our armed forces and say, if you don't agree with what we're doing militarily, then you can opt out now and, and see you later. Get to stepping, whatever type of, you know, whatever type of pension that you've earned, whatever type of tenure you've earned, great. You still keep all that, but you can opt out now before going in front of the Israeli uh, uh, embassy and c- killing yourself over something that you maybe don't quite, can't quite comprehend or are you're trying to be a martyr about, then just, just leave, just Kindly leave, and you have the option. Delist. You can just you D-list. just don't re- don't sign up for another tour. Just delist. You know, you talk about someone that's been there yeah, for like resign. a career. <laughs> before you flick, yeah. Before you flick your bick uh, with with five gallons <laughs> of gas. Think it was big. Quit. You think it was big? Quit. There are many many errands out there. Who's going to speak for them? Who's going to stop this from going further? Hamas. Yeah, I mean, they can just a, surrender. Uh, Joe Biden, I got to go to words, but Joe Biden, I think, was on the late night with Seth Meyers show last ice night. Cream. Yes, he was. And and was he eating ice cream again oh, last know. night? Well, he actually did like kind of a sit down with them too. Yeah. Do you have it? Do you, it, 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 it yeah, I, I don't know, but he 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 alluded to the fact that he may have Taylor Swift's endorsement. Well, of course he's going to say that. But 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 what was, why wouldn't somebody get a hold of Taylor Swift and say, Hey Taylor, stay out of this one. On either side. Because she can survive it. People don't care. She's big enough that they don't care. For real. Yeah, people still listen to her and chase her down. If she supports Biden, if she supports Hamas. And, here, and here's the deal. I've, Putin, I've just le- recently no become a Swifty, <laughs> and I got to tell you, I, I, I think I agree with you. Her, who she endorses means nothing to me. Doesn't doesn't persuade my vote either way. I think she's pretty hot. I'm glad that Charles, I'm, I'm glad that Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, uh, Travis uh, Kelsey is blasting the hell out of her. Yeah, I I she's, finally get, she's finally getting it proper with a real man. I stopped being a Swifty. I sent you as uh, the interview. All right, we'll, we'll play that next, okay? Find a safe place and stay there. The four horsemen of the apocalypse asked him for advice. Oh, God. Love of the love sponge. I mean, are we going to cross, cross war? Yeah, I'll sit down and then you tell me to scoot over and then you can come over. Uh, <laughs> you sit down, spread your legs, and I'll go in between. Sure, why not?
Somebody, did you find it? Forward. No, I watched behind my guess. Okay. I guess he said it's classified. Yeah, he said it was classified. She just sent Taylor Swift to Palestine. She can do a concert, a robo concert. Gooders always promise to show up and they never do. What kind of medication can you give someone to kind of help them keep it together with like their mental? Is there anything that's that's kind of like, like meth? Why? I don't know. Like, meth? I don't know. To make them just oh. chirper for a, a few hours? For, they've been giving amphetamines to soldiers for centuries. Um, that's not the reason this guy can cause off a fire. This guy's no, psychotic. No, 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 he needs like a Bilify. No, oh, Biden's oh, mental. Exactly. Like, is there something that you can pump someone up with for a while just to keep them a bit sharper? Yeah, for they probably do that. They probably do give him some uh, anticholinesterases for his dementia. And I love how about it. In the morning. Right. What is the first thing? Well, you I'm going to send you another oh, clip. It's a shortened down oh, version. All right. Uh, it's at 354. People with dementia have a problem. Okay. They, Thank you. The, the cholinesterase eats up this. Just do the choline too fast. So you do anti cholinesterase and so you, you have higher levels of choline and you have less dementia. 354. Choline. Is, is acetyl CoA, is that acetyl choline? It's just part of it. So that's broken down from pyruvate? Mm -hmm. For glucose? Mm -hmm. 10 million dots per <laughs> This was last night? You couldn't just report on you, but you can do this? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I know, I'm always looking at where he's going. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Driving from a bricked-in parking garage near the flight path of a major American airport. It's time, it's time to, turn to turn out the, out propaganda, the propaganda and manipulate some minds. <laughs> now we turn to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Bubba Army Shop, BubbaArmyMerch.com. And that's uh, where you can get the Trump-inspired Air Bubba all gold with patriot, patriotic accents with the Bubba Army logo on the tongue, the fat guy dunking a donut on the, on the side of the shoe, an all, all red sole, uh, pretty much identical to the Trump pair that's selling for 400 It's one better that, than the Trump pair. Better than the Trump pair. Superior. Trump just has a big T on the side. Yeah. He I got me. I got, got me dunking a donut, kid. Air Bubba. <laughs> And mine are going to probably be even more limited than his. So uh, go and get those You're there at 5 o'clock next Tuesday. It's done. Like, my pre-orders are done. I'm only I'm only going to manufacture what I sell, period. And they'll not, I'm not allowed a second run or anything like that. So get them all you can. Also, uh, Lummy, starting on Monday, will be on Orlando, 1031. Now, Woo! what people don't realize is I used to be... When JVC first bought 1031 and they were doing the Wolf Country format, I was uh, the morning man then. Well, I mean, we yes, actually did. We did 12 boobs of Christmas and a and a thing at uh, at Rachel's uh, back in the day. In Orla- yeah, in and then they hired this program director who hated me and uh, convinced them to fire me. Mm. I think so, something like that. <laughs> but now we're back. It comes back full circle. I'm trying to think of the frequencies in Orlando that I've been on. I started at XL 106.7. Then when I, then I came over to Tampa, and I think I was on JRR, I think. Yeah, JRR was my second one. And then my third one was on, I think, the – was it 96 K-Rock or whatever Cox's FM rock <clears throat> rocker was. And then from there, I went to – I think some AM station for a while, and then 1031, um, and then uh, Florida Man, then Florida Man Radio, and now back to 1031. Nice. So I've been on a lot of different frequencies in town. A lot, our third most, you know, our third most largest city of digital activity is Orlando. So it'll be nice to be, you know, heard terrestrially on a flamethrower like 1031, uh, and it flips Monday with me, uh, Don Miller, and Shannon Burke. And so when we do our when we do our Orlando appearances, Dan, it's going to be a whole other situation. Oh yeah, <clears throat> people can actually hear us. It's going to be great. Uh, let me. So Joe. So Joe Biden was on. Um, Seth Myers. I don't like this guy. Yeah. Seth Myers. Well, the ratings show that a lot of people do. Play playing around. Oh, really? Is he is he highly rated? No. He's the That's opposite. What I was opposite. The, the, not a lot of people like him. He, like all three of the late night guys. Are Jimmy Kimmel dying. Yeah. They're Jimmy dying Fallon. on the vine. They're rotting. Jimmy no one watches it. And on this, grapes. That, you can combine all three of their uh, their ratings. And I think, they don't I think... even make up for what uh, Gutfeld does on Fox <laughs> at the same time. Really? Yes, it's dead. Late night TV is dead. They've got um, no one funny anymore. With the dark brand um, uh, meme? No, I resent the hell out of it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. And this is staged, obviously. No, yeah, no kid. Yeah. Like, this no, is, no, this no, is no, so. Yes, of course. It's, it's been rehearsing there for a month. They were talking about. Hold so, on, let, me, but, let, me just, let me just rewind it here, Billy. So they were Do talking, you enjoy playing around with the dark, uh, with the dark brand and meme? And the dark Brandon meme yeah, is, is you've co- you've co opted dark Brandon. This is a yard sign. What are they talking about here? So Lummy? this is a cut down version. So he starred, not starred. He made a guest appearance in Park and Rec. I don't know, seven, eight, nine years ago. Biden did. Yeah, and so they brought the actress on that was in Parks and Rec, and they talked about it. And he put his shades on in one of the episodes. this girl right here. Yeah, it just. I they, guess they show that. Yeah. Is that the clip? Is this is kind this the is oh, this is the, Amy Poehler? Yeah. 
Is this the clip that he did in Park and Rec? No, the, I don't think they show the actual clip. I like of it. Amy Poehler. Why would she be hanging out with this loser? Because well, he was in you know, for a long, long time. That was really fun. That was before president. This was the best gig you ever had. <laughs> I, I, maybe the best gig ever have. Period. Yeah. <laughs> How was Amy? How was uh, how was the president as a scene partner? Well, it was an awesome time to go to D.C. because we met uh, with uh, the then Mr. Vice <laughs> President, Pre Mr. President, Vice President, President. That is I, right. I, I you don't want to get pressure. it wrong. I don't no. want to get it wrong. Um, <laughs> but we met people from both sides of the aisle, and then if you remember, we did that scene together, and then uh, you said to me, um, "How should I act?" And I said, "Just act like what is this lady doing here?" <laughs> Start and sniffing. you nailed it. <laughs> yeah. I, I have one. I want to talk. I want to look to the future. But one last glance to the past in 2014. This is uh, Joe Biden on what's the guy's name? Seth. Seth Meyers. Seth, Seth Meyers. Meyers late night show. And like and Joe, like how pathetic are you if that's the show you're doing? The late night with Seth Meyers show. That's where they're propping you up at. Why aren't they propping you up on some heavy hitters? Would, would, like what? Would, Gutfeld? Would would, <laughs> would would hey would Rogan have him on? I don't know. He'd be afraid of Rogan. Oh yeah, he'd definitely he definitely. He can't I mean, speak I think, with Rogan. I, I think Rogan would have him on. His but just Joe's people wouldn't let him go on Rogan. L Rogan would have oh, a, yeah. he'd Rogan would be like form. Rogan would be like yeah please get him in here. Yeah, but it'd be like watching a a, a pit bull fight a turtle. How, I mean, I wanna, just, just sometimes no that's fun. I'd watch that. I'd like. I'd, I'd, oh, I'd watch it in a minute. I'd watch. I just. Oh, apart. I'd watch it. Here we go. It's called Laguardia, a third world airport. It and is. You had had to fly into Laguardia to come to this show, and the only reason I bring it up is Laguardia, much to the chagrin of late night comics like myself, is a beautiful airport now. <laughs> it's a beautiful airport. And it really does speak. Dan, do you fly in and out of LaGuardia when you I've go to... I've been out of there, and it sucks. It's disgusting. Still? It's filthy. The, the whole thing needs to be pressure washed. The whole freaking city of New York needs to <laughs> be pressure gross. washed. It's It's freaking disgusting. And um, it's an embarrassment. You know, I've been at a lot of airports around the world, and a lot of third world country airports blow away LaGuardia. Well, is no, it, Tampa is, International is, is one of the best, is it, and LaGuardia is one of the worst. Isn't it true that we are kind of spoiled with Tampa? As Tampa yeah. is such mm -hmm. a not beautiful airport and so easy it's to efficient. get. Yeah. Yeah. Very Spokes efficient. Is the very best design. Is Orla How international is Orlando airport? International? Is it? It's a little. It's pretty good. Is it pretty good? Mm, yeah, I go out of there sometimes. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's better than LaGuardia for sure. So what infrastructure spending could do? Sometimes it takes a long time, but it's really worth it. Have you been to LaGuardia recently? I have, but it didn't take me a hell of a long time. Yeah. <laughs> the last guy had he had infrastructure week every week. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we got, talking about got Trump. it done. How can you be the leading country in the world with ranked number thirteen in terms of infrastructure? Mm. It's not, not good. Not possible. Where do we rank now? Yeah. Not possible. But, but that's not the only thing we're doing. You're getting a lot of things changed. You got a lot of things changed, and I want to ask about that, but there's something that I've been very... It just speaks to the era we live in now. There's a Dark Brandon conspiracy meme, and uh, this is something that you seem uh, to have a lot of fun with. You've co-opted. What, what's so funny about this? It mm -hmm. has to go with the, uh, the Taylor Swift thing. His, like he's Twitter, leading into the conspiracies his, that yeah, people yeah, are saying that Twitter, it was all yeah, you know, his an inside Twitter job. people made this yeah. picture. You've co-opted Dark Brandon. This is a, a yard sign. And uh, do you enjoy playing around with the Dark Brandon uh, uh, meme? No, I resent the hell out of it. OK. <laughs> oh, my god. He's a cool guy. And the cheers and the applause. I, tookie, I, tookie. I mean, I almost feel like everybody in the audience needs to have their hard drive checked. <laughs> I mean, if you think this is guy, I mean, seriously. How long has he been sucking the uh, the political teat? How long has he been like? Has he been fifty five years? Fifty four years? Fifty fifty plus years? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, well, my favorite one recently is there are eighteen percent of Americans, according to recent polling, have um, believe that you and Taylor Swift are actually uh, working in cahoots. <laughs> and after the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, uh, you uh, you posted this on social media and wrote. <laughs> He wrote, just like we drew it up. Yeah, he wrote that. Now, Ken... Yeah, he did. <laughs> and he made the picture. Yeah. He, 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 was, he was asleep by the second quarter like me. <laughs> you, I have you on the hot spot here. Can you confirm or deny that there is an active conspiracy between you and Miss Swift? 
Huh? Where are you getting this information? <laughs> it's classified. It's classified information? It's classified information. You won't share it with us? I'm not gonna, but I will tell you, she did endorse me in 2020. She did? I bet you, you might be wondering. You might be wondering. Is it, you think it might come around again? I told you it's classified. <laughs> Which means she's not committed to it. And so you say classified. Because that leaves, you know, obviously an, o- an open window to her potentially endorsement. But if I'm if I'm Taylor Swift's handlers and she's as big as she is, I would say just stay out of the fr- just stay out of this one. Mm-hmm. Sit this one out. I like the two people that cheered when he brought up the 2020 thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> stay, dear Taylor, you're far big. Yes, you're bigger than the presidential election. You are. Your brand is is bigger than the presidential election. Some people may find it irresponsible for you not to lend your endorsement to one or the other. Other people might find it refreshing that you don't want to get up in the fracas. Like, just stay out of it. You know, they did an analysis of this a couple of weeks ago, and they said if she did it, about 18% would be swayed <laughs> for, and about 17% would be swayed against. So it really is a so wash. it might be a push. It's an absolute wash. No one really cares. And here's the deal. I've most re- – and I, I'm – I've not lost. I've not. I'm not doing estrogen injections, but I've recently become. I I, I've become kind. I wouldn't say I was a Swifty, but I like. I I know more about her. I pay more attention to her, and I. Not. I and pay I, more for my women to watch her, <laughs> and and I I kind of like the swagger. I like the that she's pop culturally the biggest icon in the world. I love her brand and her star power. She's and a I, great and I like, role model. And I like that she finally is getting blasted by a real man. Yeah. I mean, I it's really, I news. really like all that. And so, you know, I don't know if that makes me a Swifty or not. I think it does. But I, but I like her. You know, you know I'm not as, buying her music. Can you name one of her songs? No. Okay. And, you know, as a father of a 12-year-old daughter. I know she's like, daughter, like, never, ever, ever. You know, so there's one of that. Back. Get back together. Mommy knows it. No, I knew yeah. it too. <laughs> well, she she is a very positive role model, period. For the father of a young daughter, there's really no one else in pop culture that I'd rather my daughter emulate or about look up to red. than her. So I got nothing but good things to say about her. And I hope she stays out of the election. I do but too. when she did in 2020, it didn't matter. Who cares? I understand. But right? I just say, as her handlers... As her brand managers, as how she's perceived, I think this is so contentious and so dirty, this this next race on both sides of the fence, that you stay out of it. Yep. You're All like, right. you know what? My vote's a private matter. I don't have to publicly tell you who I'm going to vote for. And every American has that right to vote. It's a very precious right that I hope that you exercise. But I don't have to. I'm not... I don't. It's not a law for me to tell you who I voted for, or who I like. Period. Well, I guess... That's a personal decision between you and when you're in that when you're in that ballot little little cubby hole now. Like they don't really have. I don't think they have the old school ones anymore. Where like they, they, they with the curtain pulls back. Do they? No. I think it's all just those little those little stands por- portable the, stands. Yeah, with the little blinders on the side. Yeah, yeah the cardboard exactly. blinders. That's all they got <laughs> now. All... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you another question because we mentioned Parks and Rec, and Parks and Rec was a show that was about how government could actually help people, and it was a really optimistic show. Real quick though, well, do you believe any conspiracy theories? Oh any? yeah, I do have one conspiracy. I think that uh, octopus, uh, an octopus is an alien. Okay. And the bottom of the sea floor is actually the top of the earth. All right, we'll do some more gummies there, look at, Tara. Look at yeah, Biden yeah. understands. Biden trying to figure it out. He's he li- understands. Yeah, yeah he does. Leaving. Yeah, it makes perfect out. sense. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm out. This is all scripted. Yeah. And yeah. Been, they, they, do you think they, he I, nailed it? I guess. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Biden, I guess. I, I mean, you know, do you think Biden is like, I yeah, killed it. By Joe, by it. Joe Biden's <laughs> standards, which is usually not present. He nailed it. Yeah. He nailed it. He got the glasses on at the right time. Yeah. And... <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's his he best performance it. in months. I mean, you got to give the guy some credit. Usually he's falling over a curb on his bicycle or he doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> he falling read upstairs. An Abe Lincoln quote two days ago, like from Page, and he goes, I want to just make sure I get this correct. And then he did it wrong. <laughs> he's, uh, he's but so, so, I mean, his team's probably high five and be like, man, Joe went on Seth Myers. That bitch nailed it. He put the sunglasses on, he hit the high spot. Go, Joe, go. Hell yeah. I sent you a clip. I guess he's walking out to Taylor Swift's music now. 
<laughs> oh, really? How'd that go for Katy Perry in 2016? Let me see here. Let me. Is, is this how? Is this how? Yeah, I guess this is how he is walks it, out to his. Right, let me see here. Hell yeah! Please welcome our president, Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the song? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I guess it's uh, and, 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 yeah, and, and here and here's the, and here's and here's the thing. Here's the thing. In, in order to be able to in, in, in order to be able to do that, they have to have they have to have her permission. Sort of. You could have you could have picked any other Taylor Swift song. Sort of. Maybe sort of. I guess you can play Sorta. it until they find out about right. it. Until exactly. they, shut, they can that's, either let you continue to do it or right. shut you down. Yeah, Stones, that's what Trump was doing. The Stones were pissed at one point about him using you can't always get what you want. And Bruce then, like, Springsteen won't let any conservative or Republican play any of their songs at anything. Yeah, I think Twisted Sister gave uh, Trump a hard time, too. He was using we're not going to take yeah, it. Yeah, that we should. Yeah. He needs to get a hold of D and said, hey, man, D, whatever it takes, let me know. Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Yes. Um, so, uh, first of all, Taylor Swift oh. has been awesome forever. Um, I saw her at the Strawberry Festival uh, 15 years ago, something like that, um, back when she was a country singer. Um, but I do have two questions if you don't mind. All right. One is for Do- one is for Dr. Dan and then one is for Jay. So I have a uh, non-cancerous uh, lipoma on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Um, is it like what the pimple popper t- takes out? Yeah, it's a fatty, fatty tumor. Yeah. yeah. Subcutaneous fatty tumor. Y- y- yeah. <laughs> um, but it's about the size of uh, like a dime and then about three centimeters high. Mm-hmm. Um, since it's non-cancerous, my insurance is not going to cover it. Um, but if you got a sex change, they'd cover it. What's that? <laughs> if you got a sex change, they'd cover it. Dan, don't, yeah, don't, don't, well, don't, don't trip him up on a technicality. I'm not going to do that. But how much would you charge for something like that? Because I remember listening years ago, you... Did he does all that sorts of stuff. Yeah, a few hundred bucks depends. I got, I, I, I got to look at it. You know, somewhere between three and five hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah, they want to charge me thirty five hundred. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, Dan could do that for. <laughs> Dan will do it for thirty four hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> Dan will do it for fifteen fifteen ninety and call it a day. <laughs> Dan, can I reprice yeah. that? Yeah. So yeah. listen, and three then, four, um, three four hundred bucks probably depends on how how many probably would depend on whether you have to suture it or not. Dan, yeah, how right? big it is, how, many, how long it's going to well, take you me. Gotta yeah, path it maybe. I mean, you know, he's, I don't always send them for path because they're just depends what he's looking at. It could verse you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Dan said yeah. three three four five hundred something like that. Okay. Okay. That's now a question for Jay. Eight 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 eight, eight Diacos. Eight eight eight. Four eights and Diacos is Dan's medical oh, world, and I, then their legal world is eight 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 SOS firm. Correct. And so, yeah, I've already got all that. All right, I've so Dan, now that Jay that is not going to be able to help you with that growth on your back. That's that squeamishes out. But if you got hit by a Publix <laughs> truck, man, you need to call Dan. <laughs> you need to call Jay immediately. Well, no, here here is my question about that. <laughs> is I was unfortunately involved as a third party to an. A uh, car accident um, that you know I wasn't driving; I was parked, um, and they totaled my car, which was fine. Um, and I tried to buy it back, but they told me that there was some type of like insurance that I had to buy to get the title back, and it was like thirty five hundred dollars. Is were, that true? Were you in the car? I was in the car. Okay. Yeah. Were you injured? Um, at the moment, I did not uh, report any injuries. That's but, not what I asked. Uh, I listened very carefully. I'm a lawyer. I very quite carry a question. Do you have an injury from it? Do I? Uh, yes. What? Where? Through uh, progressive. Okay. Have you made? You've already made a claim for personal injury protection. You've already made gone to the doctor. I have been to the doctor, yeah. Okay. Call 888-SOSFIRM. 
I'll listen to your case. This is not great radio, but I, I'm happy to look at it. Just because you were in a parking lot and someone told your vehicle doesn't mean you have a potent, don't have a potential claim. So give me a call. I'll, 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 I'll listen to what's going on. If I can help you, I'll help you. And if not, I'll help steer you in the right direction, my friend. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. I, All right, I really, buddy. I really appreciate it. Right. Yeah. Well, I, you know, Bye. luckily, I, you'll, luck, luckily, I got a brand new car, so. Okay. Well, good. That's good awesome. Again, get, call the number Jay told you. If he can help you, he will. Oh, no. I, I Trust me, I know their number. I know where they are. All right, cool. Perfect. Give him a call. Okay, bud? All right. Thank you for taking my call. Thanks, bud. Thank you. I'm honored to introduce a real champion of our freedoms. Please welcome our president, <laughs> Joe Biden. Yay! <laughs> Hold on. Yay! Let, let, let me just... Let me just make an observation. Is there okay. one man? Uh, no. uh, thank you very much. Well, I see one. I, I no, s- that's not one. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no. Here, here's, here's, right. here's Brian yeah. Petroni right and that- here. <laughs> and, and, that looks, and that looks just like Brian Petroni. I mean, it does. does it not look very oh, Brian Petroni-ish? Yeah. Guy, I mean, you know, littler guy, dr- nicely dressed. With a sign that Steph gave him. With, with a <laughs> sign? There's not, I mean, I, I don't see. I don't see. <laughs> I don't see one rugged dude like Iggy or Buck or the Nash brothers. Any Bob Cook. I don't see Triatine Travis, Big Red. They There's set the not lights one up before man the show started. that's got a testosterone level of 200 and above. In this audience. The, the only workers help set the stage. <laughs> Yay, we I defend see. choice unless you don't want to get a vaccine and then you can go to hell. One, <laughs> hold on, watch. One, two, three. That's it. That's all I can see so far. CIA yeah, yeah, All right, hold on. Again, it looks like a bunch of, <laughs> like, you know, sophomores in college, yeah. girls, particularly Asian. What? I got other uh, uh, Asian. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I mean, it looks like My eyes are terrible. Like, they like just there's some Asians in there. Hispanic. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> Is he frozen? Do, do those seem like, like... You want to make out? You want to make out? Yeah. Just those make seem out. like the kind of cheers when, you know, Kim Jong-un comes out. They're I just would like, feel... <laughs> I would feel I'd have so much more respect Please for Joe have. if he just went out and just took her right there. Oh just yeah, made out this, <laughs> sniff her head. Just, I mean, so yeah. let's not let's stop the sniffing and all the little. Pe- let's just make out. Let's Give see. me your tongue. Suck my tongue, bitch. Whoa, hey. It's like a, Where am I? I bet you know what? Here, listen. I bet you. Yeah. I bet you he can't even get an erection anymore. Well, that's the least of our problems. And, no, but here's the deal, man. That's like when you should, like, if you can't get an erection anymore, which means you're really not a man, then you should be in office. Then you shouldn't be in office. Yeah. Then you shouldn't. Then you shouldn't. You shouldn't be. Yeah. They yeah. should go in, you know, like every three or four months and say, President, whoever it may be. I, don't I care see your boner. I don't care if it's <laughs> Joe Biden or Tulsi Gabbard. You know, Tulsi, rub one out for us and see if you're, you know, if your sexual parts still work. Here. All right, you're good. Next. No more cognitive exam. We need no. direction to more the of exam. A co- yeah. Yeah. Who cares if he can think as long as he can get a stiffy? I mean, we often think with our stiffy, do we not? Yeah, I mean, it's okay, brain then. tissue. Oh, it's it vital. It does have brain tissue. It's vital as a man. <laughs> as a man. What's going to happen? Listen, me, you, Jay, Steve, Jimmy, we're all getting older, but we still can get and maintain erections. What happens? And I know that you guys, you know, maybe maybe went through this with maybe Uncle Nick or your dad. I mean, there nope. probably comes a point where you can't get an erection anymore. Then I'm letting myself on fire. What it's if never <laughs> dad's going down to the embassy. <laughs> Hi, it's Dr. Dan Diaco, and I don't really care what's going on over in Hamas or the Gaza Strip or with the Jews. I just know that this slick Italian cannot get a boner anymore and I have no right to live. I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm burning myself right down to zero. Watch me flick this bick for the last time. I mean, you know, I mean, uh-huh. do you think that Joe, do you think Joe can get, do you think What if he Joe? gets no. boners over, like, the, the ice cream, you know? Like, well, misguided I mean, boners? Oh, the answer children is yes, ice cream, well, I mean, that means he can get a boner then. All I right, mean, if I guess Joe it's okay. Can, if Joe can get a boner... Oh, I thought you meant my dad, Joe, because no. I was saying he no, got no, testosterone no. tested like till a year before he died. He was over the 700s. Oh, You're, my God. I swear your to dad, God. Your dad. Your dad. Unbelievable. Dr. Do- rest in peace. The seed. Do- the seed. Remember, I'm the one that named him <laughs> I that. Know that. I named him the seed. 
Rest in peace, Seed. Because, but part of being the Seed was being the pimp. And I know for a fact, <laughs> although I probably shouldn't be saying this, when he was in his upper 70s, he was blasting th- upper 30-year-old chicks. For sure. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe, I should, maybe I'm going to get a bad a text from Steve that I maybe blurted out too much information today. But I know for a fact. That when Dr. Joseph Diaco was like 77, he had like a 37-year-old girlfriend. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And thought she was old. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And was just, was was slaying it. Was Mm -hmm. he not? Yep. Yep. (laughs) If his penis looks anything like his neck, it's not Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Look at that cross-section of humanity Mm. Uh that... Has a, that that they that they've pol- don't think that each party doesn't strategically place these people behind you. Oh, of course, and it's, the science. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. It's all these Roger Stones and these big you know these big time political consultants that handpick the backdrop of your you know your potential political speech. They there's a certain look they want, and it looks like Joe Biden's people want a bunch of. College bitches. And good smelling hair. I tell you, I wish I could go back and smell each one of these beasts hair. I mean, this is a little, this girl here. See, this is, this. I guess this is on brand. You know, African American, 40s. Brian uh, Matroni. Brian Matroni. Yeah. No testicles. Hot, hot college <laughs> chick. Um, you know, um, uh, binary college chick. Yeah, my- <laughs> uh, uh, another college chick. Uh, heavy, heavier college chick. Binary. Um, she's, she's just. Cute. She's, she's just. Cute. She's just cute. They actually had to pay her twenty bucks. <laughs> Look at the guy behind her not chanting. <laughs> I'm honored. Honored anyway. to introduce. That's that's how Yikes. Joe. That's how Joe's rolling up. Dan, how on earth? Could ketamine ever be used medically? It's used medically all the time. <laughs> people, but isn't it what people do all the time? Yeah, oh, remember I, the, that Maya chick, the the one that had that problem, and their mom killed herself. She was she was getting ketamine correct. treatment. It's, it's used as an anesthetic. It's used for psychological issues, and now it's used to help uh, people that are lonely. You know, you don't need a friend. You just need some ketamine, some R ketamine, because the S doesn't work. So there's two different types of ketamine, uh, it's an chimeric. R and an S? It's chimeric. It's got two different versions of it. And like, okay, let's say somebody rolls into the doctor, not you, because you would call him a quack and get the hell out of my office. Mm. But if, uh, you know, I guess what would be, what what type of doctor would be able to prescribe something like a psychiatrist? A psychiatrist, yes, yeah, so okay. it would be a psychiatrist. So, and so and, you and walk there's in some there. value to it. You know, I mean, we, we, we've... We used to, uh, you know, shock people because they thought we thought they were crazy. But it turns out that shocking your brain with electricity, doing electroconvulsive shock therapy, is good for depression. It still may pickle you a little bit, but it's good for depression. So, Heather, you know, my 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 wife, Heather, ex-wife, mm-hmm. yeah, ex. her her mother was a great person, but in like the '60s and early '70s, they 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 she they thought she was having some mental issues. And they actually shocked, like she warning had, sign. They, they, <laughs> yeah, they, thank you, Dan. A little late, a little, little late, little late for that one, Doctor. A little late, but as soon, what as you, I, as soon as I heard it, I, I let the warning go. I know, but what you did contribute was that Regina Hunter was able to take your original OG uh, prenup and make it about thirty-seven times more stiffer. <clears throat> so you nice. know, so uh, th- you did contribute very much in that in that manner. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Jay and Dan. I think Jay has a generation of yours. I think, sure. I think everybody I think, does. Uh, I paid sixty thousand. Everyone else did it for five. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And so anyway, um, <laughs> they, they used to, they used to, they used to shock her mother, like in 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 she, uh, and when was Heather when, when Heather was then. a little girl, her mom would come back like she had to go for like two or three days to this institution, and then she would come back and her, like her mom like wasn't wasn't present. But, you know, you kind of proven my point. One of the things I hate about psychology, and I love psychiatry and psychology, it was my minor in, in college, Danny's major, is there always seems to be the now therapy. And I just, I really, I don't like when they go straight to a pharmaceutical. You know what the best cure for loneliness is? Getting out and talking to people. Ass. Right? 
I go mean, go to go to church. But go a lot to of this is from store. like vets are having issues, well, like PTSD, well, and that's they have different. Cron- but it's still depression. It's still well, I think PTSD. that's helpful for certain things. You know I mean? just think medications are over prescribed. For example, fifteen years ago they thought dopamine was the big problem, and so they gave all these medications to increase your dopamine and serotonin and all these antidepressant medications. It turned out that. That really wasn't the cul- the culprit. It was a serotonin. It was serotonin, excuse me. And that wasn't really the culprit, right, Dan? I mean, that was like a big but push for really, that. No, really Dan, back in the day, let's say um, April of 2020, maybe May of 2020, would you have caught less flack if you were prescribing ketamine to your patients than rather than ivumectrin? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. God bless you, dude. Here's insurance money for yeah, it. Yeah, saying. all day long. Absolutely. I mean, would CVS all be? They, would CB, Would you be in full blown arguments over your ketamine prescriptions uh, v, v, versus your, uh, you know, your ivumectrin, no, uh, deoxycycline, be... Z-pack uh, with a zinc and a vitamin D, C, B, and A kicker? Yeah, you can prescribe ketamine all day long. God forbid you give someone. A, uh, a hydroxychloroquine with a diaxycycline and a, and a, kicker and a, a Z pack and they ketamine will kill out. you. They freak out. I mean, literally, ketamine will kill you. Mm-hmm. Okay. How, how Very much? quickly. And it's a date rape drug. It, yeah, because it gets girls. You're like, gone. You're gone. You're catatonic. You're asleep. You're passed out. So, but I mean, like, but all is, day long, is, is, it, is, it, is it a pill or is it an injection? Injection. Some sometimes IV, sometimes uh, sub Q or IM, but it's usually injected. And they're saying that it uh, you, it, you people snorted at clubs. Mm. Oh, yep. oh, really? Not me, but others snort what a powder form of it, or yeah, anything that's liquid to be dried or out or and snorted. You can, you, can, you, can, you can turn into a powder. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, and powder. Yeah. Is that is that liquid. is that our length, Lummy? Yes, sir. I, before I go into words, Jay, have you seen the new Bubba in Bubba Trump inspired Bubba? I love him. Have you seen him? I do. I have seen him. You excited to wear him around the office? Now, do you now? I'm excited to watch Danny wear him around the office. <laughs> All right. So you're, you're going to fly at least. He's, a, he's doing the right. Well, no, it has nothing to do with you or anything like that. It's just the gold. Danny would always rock this. I never would. But I think yours is super cool. I love the Bubba Dunkin' a Donut. I love the Chevron on the tongue. I think that Macho's Red Soul is superior to the other Trump one. I think your logo is way better than a stupid T. And I love the Trump one. I think it's super cool. So, yeah, man, I'm totally yeah. into it. I Danny, love it. Danny said if he didn't get one for free, which he does, he would be buying one. Well, he's pying for the whole like round of the first manufacturing bin. <laughs> Did, 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 did you try to buy Trumps? You did. You did try to buy well, some. Well, I looked Trumps. it up, but they were sold. How oh, much were they? Yeah, four hundred. Three ninety nine. No, like, no, no, no. I think four thousand. On, on, yeah. e- on eBay, I think they're like four grand. Yeah, yeah. Three, yeah, I, think four four grand. Grand. I think they're like four. If they were one, Dan would have bought them. Well, if they were, if they were only a thousand, Dan <laughs> yeah, would have bought them. If they were just a G, Dan have them on today. He's hit the rattler. What comes next? What comes next? We can only guess. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show returns after these words. What's up, John Costico? Oh, you know John ordered his. Oh, he won. What's up, 
Jago Sika. Did you have your fruit today, Bubba? What? Did you have your fruit today? Yeah, I'm eating right now. Nice. Yeah. Eating that frizzy. <sighs> Verso Perez. So, good morning. You see, this today. is going to be the new lineup going forward. So, Don Miller got an extra hour. And then right after the show, can we can, can film you? Just promoting it, like just you, they're gonna put something together too. Yeah. Okay. He's eating his fruit. Eating his fruit. No, I didn't. Then are you eating your fruit? Not are you done being a fruit? I'm not buying strawberries at least for the next couple of weeks. They're terrible. Taste like fucking garbage. Oh. Uh, occasionally I do have like a Pepsi Zero or something, a few sips of it. Not great. I think it's probably better than having all that sugar, but it's certainly not a health item. It's not something I'm proud of. Right. Huh? Of course you But you shouldn't. But you shouldn't. Or should. Or should. Or should. Or should. It's like, uh... You as a patient, you know what I mean, or me as a client. The works, I'm sure. I'm a good fucking You're the patient. best. I'm a good patient. So oh, you're on. the best client ever. Until, until someone fucks up. And you're the best, I mean, you've always, you've never had a single issue ever. Never. If you want to go to any Yankees games, um, you know they're the best ever. We got parking, four oh, rows, four rows behind home plate. I'd love to go with you, or if you want to go on with, you know, if you wanted four seats, I'd give you all four and, and parking passes, whatever. Are they are the best seats that we have for anything. I've been, I've been there, and they're unbelievable. Yeah, let me went yesterday with his, with Walker and Ashley. Actually, maybe four. Yeah, they were awesome. Poor Dan probably never gets to go. Sure, he does. Not when the week. Sunday. He goes. He go. He went to the opening game. He usually goes okay. on weekends or nights. They were winning seven one when I left. Like, but it has, has to be a, a night. It has to be a night game or a weekend game. Right. But he definitely goes now. It really is bubble like third row. He's been there. Yeah, I've been there, buddy. Yeah. I've been there. Oh, <laughs> bad ass. I mean, they're not the best tickets you guys own because the box is pretty fucking sl I mean, slamming. Different experience, but yes. That's, that's NFL. That's like, you know. Somewhere between fiction and reality. Madness. It made no sense at all. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show.
February is not only National what, Black History Month, Yes, but it's also uh, Heart Health Month in the United States, and more than half of the U.S. population would still benefit from some sort of blood pressure support. Super Beat Heart Shoes are the number one doctor, pharmaceutical, and cardiologist recommended way to support healthy blood pressure. They even promote heart healthy energy without the stimulants. Paired with a healthy lifestyle, the antioxidants in Super Beats are clinically shown to be nearly two times more effective at promoting normal blood pressure than a healthy lifestyle alone. Uh, 40, that's 40 thousand five-star reviews and counting super b heart shoes support heart healthy circulation so that you not only get blood pressure support but you also get productive heart healthy energy without the crash support your heart health today with super b heart shoes and get a free month supply of super b heart shoes all on all bundles all bundles that you can buy they come with a free full-size bag of turmeric that's about those shoes are valued at 25 dollars and this all starts and stops with your order by going to BubbaLovesBeats.com. Again, get this very exclusive offer at BubbaLovesBeats.com. That takes you right to where you can get your little free bag of turmeric, and you're well on your way. Uh, Bubba Army mer- uh, merch, Bubba Army store, BubbaArmyShop.com if you want the very ultra-exclusive Trump inspired Bubba Army uh, sne- uh, tennis, t- was it sneakers, basketball shoes? What do you call them, Lemmy? Oh, sneakers, basketball Sne- shoes. Yeah. Hold on, I got everybody high here. Tops? So, so sorry. High, yes, high tops. High tops, sneakers. What? Sneakers. Oh, I thought you said Jesus. something else. <laughs> what? Oh. Nothing. I thought he, I heard something else too. I thought I said the candy bar, Snickers. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I, heard something I don't think Lemmy. Uh, no, I think Anna thought I heard some, something way different, which. <laughs> mm-hmm. He which slurred one, the first one, part. The S yeah. word. He <laughs> slurred the S. <laughs> and all I heard so, was the shows S. you where her mind is at yeah, all times. No kidding. Uh, hi, who's this? <laughs> By the way, we start Orlando 1031, a real signal, a flamethrower, if you will, on Monday. Hello, Bubba. Uh, 1031 in Orlando, Monday with me. And I got the whole lineup right here. I'll tell you here in a minute. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hello, Bubba. Yes, this is Bubba. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Hey, this is uh, Jay calling from uh, Foley, Alabama. I guess Lemmy's coming up here for the uh, Hangout Festival. Yeah, Demons. Foley. Yeah, Lemmy is coming up there to work that, yes. Yeah, listen, I was wondering, uh, do you guys have those shoes in a triple E? I need a triple wide. Uh, do you have them in width like New Balance? No, I can't get that. Like, I can't. Oh. No, I mean, wide. like, okay. I would I would be having so many different variations, like, you know, an 8. No, I am. Like, you know, a 10 regular, a 10 wide, a 10 and a half. Like, I just, you know. You got some monster feet, do you, sir? Oh, this is, this right. isn't, you know, pay less, my friend. This is just me trying to sling, <laughs> no, you know, a few hundred sneakers. Okay, buddy? It's a limited run. I, I understand. Yeah. So I maybe, maybe, order a, may, maybe order a half size bigger for the width issue. Well, yeah, well. that, that's true. That's true. Also, hey, Bubba, do you got any good stories about the old days of the uh, bottle clubs in Tampa, uh, Cabin, Thirsty Turtle, anything Yeah, like of that? course I do. I just don't can't really speak of those on the air, necessarily. <laughs> well, I understand. On a couple I'll of those clubs, I was with show. Jay and Dan. Well, We've done, me and Jay and Dan and Dan, me, Jay, Dan, Fabrizi, Steven, Jimmy, Petty, we all got stories uh, that we cannot probably talk about on the air. Yeah, like when we took our cars 170 right? miles an hour from the Coliseum nightclub to my house with girls and on the hot tub. I have no recollection. Yeah. Well, of late to high school, class of 88, town and country, born and bred, man. Grandparents uh, worked in the cigar factories, Ybor City. Well, good. I, nice. I appreciate it. By, uh, by, what mean, by what means do you listen to us, my friend? Rumble. Perfect. Rumble is commercial uh, free. The only way to go. Uh, Rumble is uh, of, of one of our number one ways to for people to visually watch us. We appreciate that, my friend. Yes, sir. No contamination like the other. All right, bud. Anything else? No, sir. I appreciate it. Thank for, you for all the great entertainment. Thank and, you, uh, sir. Keeping Tampa fresh. Right. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if it's Stevie or Shane or John or Shannon. Stevie. Uh, okay, S- has sent me the new lineup. Uh, let me, you need to tell Stevie that when he puts my name, Bubba the Love Sponge, after the E, he's supposed to have the circled R. 
Okay. When my name is displayed, it has to be, you have to show that it's a registered trademark or you'll lose it. Okay, I'll let them know. All right, so the new Florida Man radio lineup, effective 3-4-24, which is this coming Monday, 6 to 10, uh, Bubba the Love Sponge, uh, 10 to 145, the Don Miller Show. From 145 to 2 is the 15-minute O'Reilly update, Bill O'Reilly. 2 to 6, uh, the man, uh, Shannon Burke. From 6 to 9, the Jesse Kelly Show. And then from 9 to 10, I guess Bill O'Reilly does this no spin, uh, one-hour no-spin news. Yes. And then what are they doing in the overnights? They, what they ought to do in the overnights is rerun me. I think they do. Right at 10, rerun me. And then run, run me 10 to 2, and then run Shannon 2 to 6, and Shannon be our lead-in. I know Stevie has asked me before. I think they do run us over overnight <clears> at <throat> yeah, 11 o'clock or something like that. That'd be great. So that's the effect of – that's the lineup. Uh, I, did, I did text Russ Rollins yesterday. I said, hey, did you hear the news? And he's like, yep, I heard it. And we were we were we were we, we were super cool. He's like, "Hey, good luck, bud." And I go, "Good luck to you. Not that you have it. You're you know you're number one, and I'm fiftieth. But I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my hardest, my friend. Unlike most of my radio uh, confrontations that I have with my oppo- the per- person that I'm going against, where I'm like gonna write a song about your mom and call your wife a whore. No funeral in the streets. <clears throat> no funeral in the streets. No, Russ Rollins is a bad guy. Nope, Russ is my friend, and it's friendly competition. Let the best man win. Different I'm sure, content. I'm, I'm sure we'll. Yeah, I'm sure Russ Russ's show is drastically different than mine. That's it. He's obtained. He has his audience, and I'm gonna niche mine. Period. Yep. We can both exist. But if I'd happen to win, Russ, you're going to have to give me a little something, something. <clears throat> like, like, good job, buddy. Boy, uh, now, now, Jay, is this, uh, is this, pati- you know, you probably look 100%. at. 100%. You probably look at headlines and say, <laughs> I know this case. man, I wish this chick would have called me. No doubt well, about she's it. Dead, so. Well, she's dead. Well, I wish her husband. Oh. Well, now, you know, the best cases are the worst cases because they're a tragedy. But this is a, a, a really good case on paper for the following reasons. It's a doctor, so the damages are there. She probably has a husband and children. Her her lawsuit is worth probably tens of millions of dollars when you just talk about the economic losses. Versus if this is a you know, 78-year-old you know, man guy who that's was retired. sucking out of a straw right. and had a one-year life expectancy. Right, right. So you probably have multiple survivors. You have the big pocket, Disney World. Yeah. You have an act that is— Disney you know, writes checks for things to go away, negligent. don't they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, this is— New know, York doctor— is great, great case. —dies after dining at Disney World restaurant where the waitstaff insisted the food was allergen-free— uh, I guess now there's. A, um, did, did she go? I mean, did, did she get Morgan and Morgan or? I don't think it's. Uh, I didn't recall the name of the firm, and I probably wouldn't say it on air anyway. Diaco Law, eight 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 SOS firm. <laughs> Just in case somebody knows. Just in somebody. case someone has an issue like somebody this knows somebody Disney that knows World somebody. In Florida, which I am licensed to practice all over the state. A doctor from New York uh, died shortly after she was at one of Disney resorts. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Disney's restaurants in Florida. And um, her husband is blaming negligent staffers, according to the lawsuit. I could not even begin to pronounce her name. Really? Well, what is she like? So there's a surviving uh, can, husband, Dan. Can, Tango porn. Can, Tango swan. Go ahead, Anna. Tango porn. Tango swan. A doctor at the prestigious New York uh, Lagoon. NYU, right? Is that, is that like NYU? Don, I don't know. Lagoon so. Hospital in Manhattan suddenly died after having dinner at the Raglan Road Irish Pub and Restaurant in Disney Springs, October 5. Oh. Her husband has filed a 19-page lawsuit in Orange County, according to Walt Disney Parks and uh, Resorts of Negligence, noting that <coughs> Taglasan had made it clear to the wait staff that she had a nut and dairy allergy. And we uh, all know someone who has an allergy. They absolutely say that before every single meal to the point where it's almost annoying. Mm-hmm. So you know she said it. You know what I mean? This is like well, such yeah, a good case. Of there's no doubt that she that's hasn't her rolled habit around in say. life as long as she has, and not. But she, I'm sure she very, very much, vehemently, adamantly tells the people, "I have a dairy and nut yes. allergy." 
Yes, we. Have now a I didn't know that they could. That. I didn't know that, that that food allergies could kill you. Oh, yeah. A full anaphylaxis, regardless can... of the allergen, can kill you, right, Dan? Yes. <laughs> the staff at the pub insisted that they were able to make the allergen-free food. After the doctor checked multiple times, the suit said she ordered broccoli, corn, a corn fritter, scallops, and onion rings. All right, so what part of that? Is dairy and or nut the corn fritter perhaps? Perhaps. Well, if you use the same skillet or fryer or anything for it, which has those types of ingredients in it, it can be enough to cause a full anaphylactic shock. Yep. After dinner, the doctor left uh, left the restaurant to explore the shopping complex. When she began feeling sick, she entered Planet Hollywood, where she experienced severe difficulty in breathing and collapsed. Through an EpiPen. Uh, they had an EpiPen even, Dan. <laughs> Holy smokes. Still didn't die. Look, she probably had it herself. She, That's she what I'm saying. Yeah, That's what they're saying. The, the family had an EpiPen. Was immediately administered to her. She ultimately died at the local hospital. Oh, my God. Um, according to court papers, the medical examiner's investigation revealed that she died. Oh, hold on. CJ, this is what you're looking for, right? What that medical examiner said of she course. died from, right? Yep. That's where the big money lies. What about this? What did I just say? Revealed <laughs> that she died as a result of an anaphylaxis due to an elevated levels of dairy and nut in her system. Case Slam closed. Slam dunk it, well, bitch. Well, hold on, yep. hold on. Another article about this says, I'm just asking Jay. I don't know anything sure. about any of this. It says the bottom of the menu... Um, says cross-contamination may occur, and th- thus we cannot guarantee that any dish we prepare will be completely free of gluten and allergens. Good luck for that. Yeah. I'll take that case 10 out of 10 okay. times. That's right. not a waiver. you got to write a waiver. Okay. In yeah. Florida, if you're going to waive some negligence, there's specific language that has to be used. The size of the font has to be big. The person has to sign it. There's You can't just, okay, you can't you know, just state it at the bottom. Red, this was an rights. online yeah, no. menu. Okay. No, no, no. And Good luck with Disney. Just like Jay said, a lot of times a lawsuit... Either it has little legs or big legs, or, and and the big legs are a lot to do with wh- the person that has died, what they did for a living, how old they were, yep. how much they were going to contribute to society, to society, yep. and if they made mistakes, if they're if they're contributory to the negligence, right? But 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 it sounds like she, I mean, she even had an epipen. They did everything right. I mean, she did everything so right that man, Jay's salivating over this over this case. Yep. Wow. It's, um, Jay, is, it's that, a is, that, is that the kind of thing where you draw up some fancy papers and Disney's attorney calls you and says, hey, uh, J.D. Ocko, uh, can we have lunch uh, can, uh, in Lakeland next week and we talk about this a little bit? Because they know I'm not going to try to go to the newspaper and make myself famous. Yeah, of right. course. And, then, and you'd be like, hey, listen, we, we, we really want this to go away. Yeah, we, we, can you? Can, can I you? always give a, a company a chance to have this thing go away in private. Always. Now, now, my last story. I did. Did you guys see this? Where Stephen A. Smith was talking about Pat McAfee. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I don't necessarily disagree with him, hmm. but I don't know that anybody else other than than Stephen A. Smith could say this. Could Pat he McAfee? Could Pat McAfee say this about Stephen A. Smith? No. No. no, Stephen A. Smith gets to enjoy the double standard. He can say but, the N word and said he didn't say it, and everyone says, "Okay, yeah, he didn't really say it." And he can say so many like reverse su- subtle racist things that no one can criticize him because he's Stephen A. Smith. And he's beyond reproach. That's why I don't like the guy. He's a provocateur, and you're provoked by him, so he's doing his job well. Hold on, his job in a lot of ways is changing the course. So of- they're talking about Pat McAfee and his unconventional style as being a sports reporter. He's now full time on ESPN. Uh, he's, you know, uh, he obviously uh, a fellow broadcast partner with Stephen A. Smith because I think, let me, Stephen A. Smith's main employer is ESPN as well. Correct. And so Stephen A. Smith is talking about a fellow ESPNer, and Pat McAfee, who has come, who has, who has, who has came into ESPN and rattled a few cages because he did it his own way by being an alternative podcaster that comes and broadcasts it like he wants to. Right. So he's done it a different way, and that's where the tension is between he and Stephen A. Smith. Here we go. Mainstream media and all those things. Mm-hmm. From a competitive standpoint and also as a, as a partner. I'm an aberration in this regard. <clears throat> I love Pat McAfee. He's a man. Love him to death. Love him to death. I love his swag. I love the fact that he's an honest brother. He don't give a shit. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. Let you know exactly where he stands. That's my kind of dude. That works for me. Now, is he as polished politically as me? Nope. Because he has no <laughs> desire to be, number one. And number two, if we're being honest, he's white and I'm black. He didn't have to be. I had to be. So I get all of that. And I'm not knocking him for it. I get it. Pat McAfee. So are you saying hmm. that he has white privilege? That's I what guess. he's saying. He's saying that he's held to a higher standard. He's he, What Stephen A. Smith is saying is that Stephen A. Smith is held to a different standard when discussing politics and political uh, topics because of his because he's black. Which and is so not, in which order is for not, him to be which, taken seriously, he has to speak more well, articulately. No, 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 he's also no, saying no, he but, can't speak his mind freely because he goes on he goes on Sean Hannity. He actually speaks his mind now, and he had to for 20 years not speak his mind. Yeah, but hold on. He's very, very smart, and he's yes. very, very articulate. And I think that that right there determines how he is perceived, not as a black or a white guy, just by what comes out of your mouth. And what comes out of your mouth is usually very eloquent and very well thought out. And you're a very good speaker, and you're very and you're and you're very smart, and it comes across as such. I don't think you got to play the black card. I think what comes out of your mouth speaks for itself, and you do a good job. You're a great broadcaster, and you're and you're very versatile. I don't think you got to go there. But, but as much as I, I I think I know what you're saying, I think what he's saying is that Pat McAfee came into the 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 media limelight without having to endure the same type of trials and tribulations that he did. And he's oh, had to Jesus. toe the line for 20 years, and, and McAfee can just come in and say whatever he wants. And he's saying it because it's a black-white thing. Now, I don't know that I to be true, that, that but word. I think it's more of a traditional media thing versus an alternate media thing, where alternate media people like Joe Rogan and Pat McAfee can say whatever the hell they want. Yeah, uh, No, I think, I think being a white... Shock well, broadcaster. Now you are so uh, you are so in the crosshairs that they, they I have to be I, more articulate. I, I, now. I can't. I, I, I can't say things that I really wanted to that mm-hmm, I used to be able to. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I think, Go ahead, Red. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just think more so what Stephen A. is saying is like, look at the route that Pat McAfee took to get on ESPN. He yes. didn't go to broadcasting school. He didn't have to do any BS sports casting that he didn't want to do. He did a show that wasn't exactly advertiser friendly and ended up being the highest paid personality in ESPN history. So, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of guys like Stephen A. who feel like they had to act a certain type of way to end up in the role that they're in. You know, maybe Stephen, Stephen A. started a. his podcast a couple years ago, and a lot of people are surprised to hear his takes because he hasn't always had a platform to just speak about ridiculous nonsense. So a lot of times they told That's what I was Stephen A. Say. Smith <laughs> on his <laughs> younger you, days, before he became the franchise that he is, is to, listen, buddy, shut up and read the sports. Yeah, right. he never you know, had to button up. Do with Disney or ESPN catered to him. ESPN. Um, I've created the drama series that's coming out. I've got my podcast, which is not really a podcast, it's a show. Why? Because I spent my own money and seven figures to build my own television studio. I want people the to Bubba look the at Love it and Sponge think model. God, I'm so I'm so far ahead of all these mm-hmm. guys. You know that because he he literally did a video about a week and a half ago thanking Joe Rogan for what he did as far as showing the road map for all the future people and that's why he's creating this new show that he doesn't call a podcast because he's trying to do long form he's never done long form in his entire career that's all i've done right it's not linear it's not digital it could be both you want a linear sports show got you you want a sports digital show got you you want a podcast so, kind of the same infrastructure we have yeah yep. you, want a, you with... want a vi- visual terrestrial show got you you want an audio terrestrial show got you you want a uh you know a, a visual uh you know podcasting setup traditional gotcha you want a traditional studio looking show got you behind the scenes gotcha got you you want a late night show done you want an afternoon talk show fine you want me to be another version of pti or something like that good you want another creation of first take fine you want me to create a weekly format show that would rival real time with bill maher Mm -hmm. or the john oliver show or the daily show Mm -hmm. fine whatever it is i can do it because i've shown i can do it and so that's where my mentality is having the doors open, the opportunities available to me, and being in the position to explore things that I may have never imagined because... Man, I'm, I feel... I got to go to words, but I really feel bad for you radio personalities who really <laughs> think that radio is going to be to, to take you 
and your career, maybe you're in your 50s and you've not established any you don't have you've not established any of what you really need to have established infrastructure wise to be able to continue to do content and monetize that and keep a staff. I don't know I mean because you know mornings, middays, afternoons on just on just terrestrial radio that is going to be very 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 prehistoric here soon. Mm-hmm. And if you've not developed a YouTube channel, you've not developed studios that you can do things other than just, you know, s- s- sit at a desk and talk. You got you got to have, you know, versatility within your with within your ability to create content. You have to have different looks in that in itself. Do you, as a lawyer you do now. Not yeah. just as an entertainer, everyone has to have a social media footprint and if you don't you're going to get passed by. Yep. Yep. Danny, I think you got to go. Yes. And Jay, we'll put you in the big boy chair. Perfect. (laughs) Quite simply, you're listening to pure filth, and he's damn proud of it. (laughs) The Bubba the Love Sponge Show returns after these words. There used to be these four little, these two little Italian guys with their family that would always sit behind us, and I haven't seen them in a couple of years, which I think is probably not good. Are they right behind? Or they... Yeah, right, like right behind us. There's there's two little old guys. They're from Boston and New York, and then the, the one daughter lives in New York. She's a huge Red, uh, Boston Red Sox fan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she like uh, she's kind of like Boston and kind of like Northeastern. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah she's great. She's great. And the one behind her is a, is a New Yorker, like an old guy in New Yorker City who comes over. That's cool. Nick of T. Nick of R T B. What up? Stop <coughs> up super john randy thrower brian from philly <laughs> oh i might let me check organic gene what up nope oh shit no paypal zero Al <laughs> Gamer, how you doing, buddy? Not today, Steve. Last week. Oh, that'd be nice. Enjoy the game, Brian. Charges my batteries. <laughs> Keeps my core strength. When are you going out there next? I don't know. Probably, hopefully, and if, if for the next four months or so, I'll try to make it <laughs> very six weeks. <clears throat>
108,000 subscribers. That's amazing. <coughs> How can you only have 140 thumbs up, guys? Come on. Come on, Matt. Matt, what up? Um, you know, Terry, depends where I am. Not in Costa Rica. Uh, in Florida, there's always shark concerns. Mm -hmm. Do you very much in Florida? Maybe on the East Coast? I do a little bit in the East Coast, but I usually try to just work while I'm here and then go surf from Costa Rica. It's going to be good because surfing here involves driving. And What's the flight again? How long is it? can fly. I can leave in the morning and be there by like 2 o'clock your time. So I can serve first day, and I can serve when I leave. I leave at like two. Is there a time the difference? One hour. Um, they don't have daylight savings, so daylight savings is two hours. Mm -hmm. um, it's weird. So they're one hour fine. Right now they're one hour. Yep. So it's I mean it's the best it's ever. Really I love it. People are still so mm -hmm. friendly. Everything's everything's perfect. Will you will you venture outside of Costa Rica and like go to? Would you ever go to like Panama yeah. or some shit? Sure. Um, when I get the time to spend like a month or so there when I get a little older, definitely. I want to surf Nicaragua, <coughs> bit, but I don't, want, I don't want to do it by land. I want to do it by boat. There's a way to go and not have to deal with it. It's because Nicaragua is not the, the safest yeah, place in the world yeah. still. In the 30 years I've been in Costa. Let me, will you send me the Beyonce, Beyonce Texas Holden? Yeah, yeah, yes, we were having a Beyonce yeah. morning. Yeah. First, we were yeah. talking about how yeah. yeah. she's doing yeah. it. She yeah. practically yeah. doesn't yeah. charge. Yeah. It's time yeah. to bring your family. I can find it. Will you send you gonna send it to me? Yep. <clears throat> Is it there? It's coming right. Now. It's loading. <laughs>
or is she the first African American woman yeah. to be number one on the pop charts and the country charts? I think that's been done before. Is she is, but not by an African American. She is the first she woman to top both the hot country and the R and B hip hop songs, and the first African American woman to top the country charts. March, Cause, April, because Shania Twain was the first one that crossed over originally <clears throat> as right. pop and country. Right. And she had what was that guy's name? Um, yeah, but it wasn't uh, hip hop. No, I know, I understand. Yeah. It's hip hop versus pop. So is she all wow. three yet? Mm, is I don't she know. pop, hip hop, and we're gonna we're this gonna find out here. Hold on here. Cover showing off Beyonce's curly hair is a rare second cover. That's See, being... I I like Beyonce. I do. I like. She's. I mean, she I'm, not a, I'm, not a, I'm not a big. I mean, I mean, I'm not a she huge does. fan. But yeah, she yeah. stays out of yeah, drama. She tries just keeping her own lane, do her work. <laughs> yeah, she really does. That's one of the reasons why I like her. Yeah. She's so powerful and so talented. Of course, she's part of the part of the power couple with her and Jay Z. But she stays out of the fray. You don't see her getting in trouble. Jay-Z you don't see does her. It for her. Well, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, he can. He, I mean, well, he, he, now weeks about ago it. he did it. Offered by the magazine. It's exclusives, and it's only available. And I think, by the way, by the way, I think she's beautiful too. Like I think she's pretty, and I like I like that side jug action right there. Available yeah. to, to subscribers, but it's not too late for everyone else. Guess what? Essence, they're no dummies. They say new subscribers right, so will you also get, get this edition. Wait, so you subscribe? Yes. You're, you have a subscription. You get the first cover. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Well, I see you, Essence. Very smart. <laughs> the, issue, the issue, rather, has already received a ton of buzz online with the release of the newsstand covers that came out last week and the photos that were centered on the legacy of black hair. Beyonce and her mom, that's mm. Tina Knowles, also featured in the Man, co- oh girl, her mom. Mm-hmm. Her mom looking good. Her story. Black don't Tina, crack. you may know, a lot of people know this story. She owned a hair salon when the megastar was growing up. And in a new interview with the magazine, Beyonce says this, my mom had a roster of amazing clients at her salon. And while the environment was therapeutic for them, it was also for me. She found a therapist for me during a period when I was extremely introverted and hardly spoke. Who knew that? Beyonce also talks about her personal journey with her hair and the issue. And we've got one more announcement. We're not done. Beyonce's new hair care brand, it's called Sacred, is available now. Oh, no, she's not. Yay! She's slinging records, Wait, but she's uh, selling hair care. Care. Just like me. I'm not I just doing radio. <laughs> I'm doing tennis shoes, too, buddy. That's right. The web's Trump-inspired. Site. BubbaArmyStore.com. Oh, only that's how you spell it. You can only buy them for a week. Sacred. <laughs> C E C R E D dot com is now live. Sucker. Now we should explain the spelling is the C E for Beyonce at the end, uh, combined with cred. Gail is lost. Wow. She's completely lost. Yeah. She can't even read the teleprompter. Sacred. Mm. I think oh, a lot of people. Oh, they think it is Beyonce. Yeah. 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 It's been an infomercial oh. for Beyonce, is yeah. what that was. Exactly. Okay. Oh, it still is. Oh, still here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, they all got product. Hey, I. Dr- another drum roll. Thank you, sir. Here we go. All right. These so Jerry's are the bringing products. out the products. Okay. These are the products. So, so where, are the, them? where are the white people? <laughs> it's like. Was there any You'd white like people? That, you? Oh, I drink this half. Pieces. So say for Beyonce and yes. then cred, like so credibility. Glad. Yes. But Not sacred, like as yes. in. No, but what about your Beyonce marks? Sure. Let me, let's 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 hear this song that's oh. supposed to be so special. Oh, the Texas. I heard one. it. It's, it's uh, good. The Texas Holden. Is that she what it topless? is? Let me. Yes, that's what it is. Right now. It's got banjo, so they made it country. Oh. She twangs it up. Nice. Boobies. Yeah, I mean, nice jugs. Damn, I wonder why it's on the country she's, top. She's still, she's still holding up. Getting... Isn't that ridiculous that I gotta that I got that, that I, I have know. to dump that that I have to dump that word. That word's so such a cool word. We use it so much so much in our language. As a guy that's had to go to too many country concerts, this is a marginal country song at best. All right. Comes in at 
Ooh. And by the way, how many more times? I mean, they, they cut this obviously one time, and they've already played this particular footage where Bubba, she comes it's the up. the official visualizer. It's not the official Ooh, video. Oh, it's what now? It's just like a visualizer. It, well, I had the uh, it's not closed the caption video. for you, Bubba, so I, I put that one up. Right. There for you. Why'd you put this one? <laughs> He it's thinks this the, is the actual video. No, because it has the lyrics. It has the too. lyrics for you. Oh, oh, oh okay. sorry. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was the video. I'm like, how many times is she going to shoot? That's pretty how bad. How many times is she going to shoot? Talk about low budget. You shot You shot her doing her little chess gimmick with a little, you know, like, like you shot that one time and you've used it already. I said in she, the first minute and three seconds, you've used it well, four it's, times. It's a visualizer, so it's a loop. It's I just going to do that. I sent you the, 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 yeah, I just, yeah. Okay. This is the worst video I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. There so we is, go, baby. She's very white. She put on Michael Jackson. What Sammy the Sosa. hell, Mosh? <laughs> really? Hannah yeah, Sammy Sosa. So this oh, is the video, is, right? Let me. Yes. Every stereotype. Ain't Texas. Ain't no holding. All right, all right. I, I mean, I really, I, I appreciate her, her sexiness. I can hear, I can hear the country. I can hear the country. Her voice is the R&B oh, part. Oh, okay. Well, that's a crappy technicality. Ooh, one step to the right. Like, you remember when Lil Nas X was on the country charts? What? What? You remember when Lil Nas X was on the country oh, charts yeah. with Old Town Road? Yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus was in the video, too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, like, what defines a country song? Does this not qualify? So Whatever they decide to play if on the country. Banjo in it and say Texas no, Hold'em. Hell no, yeah. yeah. Country yeah. Song. Wrong, because they took Little Nas X off the country because it, did, it wasn't country enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, yeah. After it spent, you know, 40 weeks he up, could, he, up he, at number he, one, yeah, then right, they decided right. to take it off. At that point, he had made so much money, he yeah. didn't care. Like, take me off, yeah. bitch. Yeah, yeah, come on. Give me a break. Radio from a prison cell. Somebody, let somebody, is he, when he was, was Little Nas X in a prison cell? No, he did that video afterwards where they were naked, like, like Don't you remember that when he, went he from watched it. Little Nas to like. Didn't he come out? Didn't he have a come out? A video. Come out video? Yeah. I yeah. liked it. Yes, he's he's gay. He had a lot of provocative stuff come out All afterwards. Right, perfect. I think we've heard it all, right? I mean, they're just going to probably reap. It's not going to be. I don't think there's going to be anything new. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it. That's it all is. you need, really. Yeah. That's nice. Good for you, Beyonce. If you can't <laughs> say anything good, then you don't say anything at all. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Oh, let's get into this. That's horrible. Yeah, let's get into this, but let's give us some time to get into it as well. That is the uh, Nathan Wade's div- this this whole this whole Donald Trump being prosecuted. Uh, by this uh, African American woman in Atlanta, and her and her her, her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, her ex boyfriend, who she hired to be uh, an attorney on this case, and it's just like, I, I, she this is she is, gonna is, is she gonna blow the case for for Atlanta? If if the judge holds her to the proper standard, she's done, and then the case is done. Is and she just barred? Since she very well could be. Since the OJ Simpson, Casey Anthony, there's nothing been for me as a lawyer that's been more in, entrancing than this because of so many things that they said on the stand that were lies that in real time I could tell were lies. It's unbelievable, Bubba. Unbelievable. Uh, we'll do that next. <laughs> Just so you know, uh, hot dog. There's not enough soap in the world to make him clean up his act. Get out of my side. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Put yourself over.
So she, Beyonce was smart because she made it a dance song too. Oh, it's gonna be a line dance. It's exactly what I said to Candle. I'm like, like I can already right? see the line dance. Oh, okay. All the instructions That's, are in this it's, song. It's, it's kind good. of, but then if you watch the music video, they're showing what to do and then how when the you know, how do they do it? on it. Oh, I, I just kind of watch it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's all. It's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beyonce. You like Beyonce? Um. Not as a person, really. just like for music. Not really. Mm. I used to. Really? Yeah. Mm. Um. Who have you been listening to lately? Or do you just listen to Tool all day like dance? No, I don't just listen to Tool all day like dance. <laughs> but I was just in, I mean, if it's something contemporary, it's rap because of my son. Mm. Or Taylor Swift because of my daughter. But I, Like, what do you like? Um, I still like more like classic rock and stuff. I like, you know, a lot of the stuff from the 90s and 2000s. Stuff you probably wouldn't wouldn't know. Like Teen's Addiction, Radiohead, Soundgarden. Oh, Radiohead like, is my favorite band for like a decade. Um, so, um, you know, I, I love Cure and, and mm. like Smiths and Morrissey mm. and Stones. In excess. we were listening to a lot of yes, In excess. Um, New Order. Mm. Some really like you know, it was alternative music back in the nineties and two thousand. There's not a lot of really good music right now. Mm. Like, who do you think plays really good music right now? You know, Greta Van Fleet. Or don't have any popularity. What's that? Guy that sounds like Led Zeppelin, young kid. There's a brand of a band of like three brothers. They're incredible. Like the Jonas Brothers, but they're incredible. No. Incredible. Hmm. I don't know. Greta Van Fleet. Yeah. Hmm. They sing a, a remix of a "Time Will Come," that classic old song. It's unbelievable. Hmm. They're from Michigan. So they, they actually play their music, but I mean... They're all brothers? Three of them, I think, are the four. Mm. The guy's voice sounds exactly like Robert Plant. Oh, really? Like, almost identical. It's incredible. <coughs> hmm. I'll check them out. But, like, if there was a music festival, I don't even know who the people would be at the music festival. Like, you know, it would be, I think, mostly hip-hop people, yeah. I would know. Um, We listen to Kanye, believe it or not, still still on that list. Old Kanye's still yeah. there. Well, great. Kanye, yeah, Kanye's great. I mean, some of the shit's really good. Yeah. Does funny. your kid listen to any electronic dance music? Yeah, we listen to like some. Um, I feel like he might be into that. It's still more like, you know, um, you know, like the Smiths, how soon is now, or like the Pesh Mode, or that kind of stuff. But mm. I mean, my my buddy Dave was a really fantastic DJ, so I have old mix mix stuff of that. But mm. I just, it's not what I'm surfing, it's just too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Uh, it depends what I'm trying to do. You know, if I'm trying to chill. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I think probably electronic dance music in general. Even like the chilled music I listen to it still has like electronic elements mm -hmm. to it. More like loud music. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, I like when people... I've been listening to this duo that... I had been listening to for a while, like, on Spotify. They come up, and I never, like, knew them by name. But it's this uh, electronic dance duo, but um, they do electronic dance music fused with, like, Indian... Like, like Chant, that Bollywood. Chant, yeah. yeah, so, like, these ancient rhythms crossed with, like, New Age West shit. Mm -hmm. And... It sounds fucking cool as hell. Yeah. So I've been listening to a lot of that. Like, just blasting this Indian music in my car. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really, it's, it's different. How's that going on in the neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> they, they like it, they're receiving that well. Yeah. Like, Bollywood style, but like, I like to dance music shit. It's fucking cool. No, it's, um, when we're coming home from surfing, it's Bob Marley and relaxing music. And mm -hmm. on the way to surfing, it's something like, I need to hear something that I can have in my head. That's good. Yeah. You know, the killers. I love, I love killers. But here's the thing, like, even music that I loved you know, growing up or whatever, like, it gets old, like, I want new stuff on the rotation, so I feel like I'm always, like, listening to, like, new artists and stuff, I don't know. No, I, I get what Otherwise, I just get sick of it. Even if it's shit I love, I don't want to listen to it all the time forever. I totally get that. Yeah. <clears throat>
I could probably name the top three mm -hmm. artists and not name the top three songs. I bet you it's, I bet you it's Beyonce, Drake, Taylor Swift, Travis Scott. I bet you the top four or five on Spotify right now. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know a single song that any of them sing. But I know mm -hmm. their music, you know what I mean? It's weird. Yeah, like if a song came along, you'd probably know. Oh, I could tell Drake anytime. I could tell Drake. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. the most famous. Well, I mean. I hated him at first, but we, since my son turned old enough to listen to him, <laughs> it's Drake's awesome. Drake's great. His beats are awesome, but his raps mm -hmm. are hilarious. Did you see? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> We uh, left this for last. This most excites Jay from Diaco Law. The could I should I say lead partner or would that make Dan mad? Founding partner. Fa there, there you, you go. go. There you go. <laughs> we had to put a title just to piss Danny off. Fan <laughs> founding partner of Diaco Law. And this is this this shiz storm that's happening in Fulton County, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, on the prosecution of Donald Trump w w with for illegal ballot harvesting or the attempt to, mm -hmm. and which has been you, you know the the Mark Ober or the you know the pros the district attorney the elected that's a great analogy the elected district attorney the. Female black Mark Ober. When's the only time you ever saw a prosecutor ever step in a courtroom and testify? Against, years. Against me, civilly. This is the only other time, Bubba, I've ever seen it in 30 years of being a lawyer. Right. Uh, but you know what? I am so ahead of the getting screwed game that these people that are getting screwed, I'd be like, hey, Donald, I've already been there 20 years ago. And I won. And I won. And I won. Baseball <laughs> Army, twenty-five cash up. So, in the nutshell, let, let me play. Let me play a little of this. But I know that you have a lot of evergreen. Um, be quiet. Bizarre, hold on. County's DA Fonnie Willis is pushing back on claims made by. Now, the isn't she on the stand and she's trying to make it all about her? Yes. Like she's trying to take control of the of of of, of the you know storyline. Yes. So. DA yes. Here we go. Hold on. A. Fonnie Willis is pushing back on claims made by the legal team of former President Donald Trump. They accuse Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade of lying about the timeline of their relationship. Mr. Trump's lawyers say Wade's cell phone was tracked near Willis's home back in 2021, nearly a year before the pair say they were officially dating. Do, 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 does, does she know or is she so arrogant? That she doesn't think, she thinks she's untouchable, or yes. do you think that she knows she's in trouble? No, I think it's the former, the, it's the latter, because here's what happened. They're in this prosecution, and she hires what appears to be her paramour for over a year before she hires him. But regardless, in my mind, whether she hired him on November 2nd, 2022, or sometime before November 22nd, or two, two, 22nd, he was her lead prosecutor getting paid by the hour and was paid over $700,000 as a prosecutor. During that time... As a he, special prosecutor. A special because prosecutor. Because the, the regular prosecutors that work in her office get a regular salary. Right. And right. this special prosecutor's never tried a felony, no, never tried a RICO I, I, case. Hold on, Jay. He's I not a criminal know, lawyer. He I has, didn't know that the state could bring in special prosecutors, but they can. They very, very, very rarely do it. There's somewhere else, someone else in the government getting paid a salary that can do it. No one gets right. paid by the hour to do government work. Right. That doesn't happen. This is you a very a unusual situation. You got a roster full of capable, you know, yes. uh, assistant attorneys. All over the state of Georgia. You know, like the Daryl Dirks and the people that tried me that try these cases. The, and the they Marcia don't Clarks, bring in the they, they, they don't bring in the JD Ocos and the Todd Fosters no. and the and the and well, the Greg Herrings. Well, they they go against you guys. They would bring right? in they should be brought in a Todd Foster who's tried dozens of federal cases, not a JD Ocko. I've never tried a felony case in my life. I'm a civil lawyer. So this guy is I've got a shingle on my front door. I've never made more than a couple hundred grand in my life. And she's gonna my lover's gonna hire me and pay me seven hundred thousand dollars in two years and during that time i'm going to take her to belize 
I'm going to take her on some cruises. I'm going to take her to Miami. And she paid me back in cash because, you know, that's that's the way you and I roll, right? Oh, you yeah. To pay back in cash, no I mean, receipts. The minute, the minute that somebody, no matter what business you're in, while you're being investigated or on trial and you bring up, oh, I, I paid it in cash, you're instantaneously, one, lying, and two, trying to hide something. Right. Yep. And they that, admitted on the stand, do you have any receipts for it? No. No one has receipts for it. She said on the stand. Meanwhile, we she all goes, have go to Publix, receipts. They get $50 extra. Hold on. Meanwhile, we all have receipts so on said, every aspect of our life. You have to. How's uh, the IRS talking to you right now about no yeah, receipts or oh cash? Oh, my God. Please. Don't, 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 don't okay. mention those words ever so again. What happened new was they filed pleadings, okay? And they're prosecuting Trump for RICO, Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organization Act, and the lawyers for filing false pleadings. Four lawyers have pled guilty to it. They're, fa- they're facing sanctions for the bar. She filed a document which says that her relationship did not begin until November 2nd, 2022. Last week, Friday, Trump's lawyers dumped. 12,000 phone records, including 10,000 phone calls, 2,000 text messages, and 35 times before November 2nd, 2022, whereby Geo Tracker, Fonnie Willis, you're a prosecutor, you may know how you get murderers, his phone was at her house, text her at 10, gets there 11, leaves at 4 a.m. What happened there? That was not a booty call, that was a, fa- a fanny call. That's what oh. that was. Well, because they said they were reviewing documents. Oh, you know how many yeah, times I've Jay. gone to my cousin and my law partner's house at four in the morning? Zero. Right. Do you know how many times I've called him this year? Wasn't twenty thousand? Wasn't ten thousand? Wasn't five thousand? Maybe a couple hundred. Yeah. You, you, you know how many times I called my wife this year? I looked at it. We, I didn't call my wife or text my wife this much in the last four years. We had to revert. It was uh, I think it was twenty thousand texts and two thousand calls. Un and, and so, uh, thirty five uh, times by geolocator. So what's going to happen? Now, the judge used to work for her. Yes. And so, like, I mean, what's going to happen here? So if the rules are applied correctly, the standard he's supposed to abide by is whether there is an actual conflict or the appearance of a conflict of interest that would prevent her from doing her job correctly. Well, I would say at a minimum, we've proven there is a, an appearance of a conflict by the fact that she's admitted under oath they did have a relationship, they did go on vacations, she has no receipts, she paid him back cash, allegedly, because it's a black thing that her father said, that women who are African American, we all didn't know this, apparently you're supposed to keep f- six months of cash at your house. And so that's what the, that's how she's defended against and it. it is, almost like I paid as if she's playing the race card on the deal. Right. So my I, I my daddy back. told me that all African American women need six months of operating that's cash underneath said. the mattress. I did not even, Can we I'm bring not, in Keisha to confirm? Hold on here. Willis says the information is incorrect, <laughs> does not prove that she and Willis were ever at the same place during any of those times listed. Final arguments in this misconduct motion will be heard March 1st. All right. So what what is the What's what happens here? Okay. So, the, so, so now the judge has to make a determination yes. as to whether those two have misconducted. So correct. Th- yes. <laughs> so the, the in addition to the phone records, Nathan Wade's defense lawyer, who was his former partner, was texting the female lawyer for one of the other defendants that raised the motion. And in that, it's attorney-client privilege communications he's claiming, which shows he had communications with this lawyer that they had the relationship way before November 2nd. So the judge literally was hearing testimony from this lawyer in chambers yesterday to determine whether they lied to him. If they have filed false pleadings and the court determines it, Fannie Willis and her entire prosecutor's office will be discharged from this case. If they are discharged from this case, there is not another county in Georgia that has the capability or the wherewithal to take this case with 18 defendants, let alone do it before the election. What about those those that have already pled? They have a very good chance of getting out of it. They have a very good chance of getting their... For prosecutorial misconduct? Yes, getting them set aside for prosecutorial misconduct. Wow. And so if if the judge if this happened in Tampa and this was oh, I've seen prosecutor you, misconduct this, they, the the person would be out of the case forever they would be sanctioned and probably lose their bar licenses she would no longer be the assistant state attorney for Fulton County and she she'd be gone that's what should happen 
Um, DeSantis, the, DeSantis removed Andrew Warren for far less. Right. Right? Could, yeah. the, could the governor come in from the state of Georgia and remove her? No, but he could pardon Trump if he was prosecuted by her. Oh, he could? Yep. Well, why, why can't he remove her? Our, our governor removes, removes DAs. I think he's letting her hang herself. There's no, I mean, why would you remove her? When's, she, her? when's she up for, re, for re-election? That I don't know, but the judge is going to make a ruling on, I think, closing arguments are Friday. What if the judge completely screws the pooch and, and does the home team deal because he, be, because he played, because he, you know, he used to work for her? What happens? I think there's going to be a huge rumble for that. I think, I mean, I don't know how anyone could say that this is okay. You think that D was worth it? Did I say it again? Do you think think that that D D was worth it? Yeah, D was worth it. I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) No way. Jay, thank you, my friend. My pleasure. Clem Cush will be the after show that we do. Cush is probably going to be here any minute. Let me tell Cush I want to start about 1020. Will do. I got some, a couple little couple little housekeeping things I got to get done, okay? Housekeeping. Sounds good. Perfect. Jay, we appreciate you, bud. Appreciate you. Don't forget Bub Army Store, Bub Army Merch, Bub Army Shop. You can only buy them until Tuesday, a week from today, 5 o'clock. Mommy, well, you wouldn't believe how many we've already sold. That's amazing. Quite a bit. Really? Quite a bit. Thanks for letting me finish. You've been listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show, starring me, Bubba the Love Sponge, co-host and show historian, Lummox, co-host Anna Hummel, co-host Dr. Dan Diaco Esquire of Council, co-host J. Diaco Esquire, the Spitting Cobra of Council, Rhett the Filthy Ginger video editor. Yeah, back here wearing sh- up. It's Mini Macho. The BRN agent, Thomas Buttoned Up Bean. And for everything else, go to thebubbaarmy.com. Now, time for the legal disclaimer. Exactly. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this show without express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. We must dissuade him of this delusion. Until next time, always remember. I'll repeat hello. Bye.